What's happening, guys? It's Adam here. Just before we go into this week's episode, I want to let you know that we do an extra episode of this shit every single week exclusively on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a way for you to financially support this podcast while getting a few rewards for yourself. Now, you can sign up for three quid a month, five quid a month, or ten quid a month. The more money you give us, the more benefits you get. But even the people who only sign up for three quid a month, which is what, less than the price of a fancy coffee, you get an extra episode every single week, which is about an hour and a half long, uh, where it's just me and Dan most of the time. You also get early access to these public episodes with the guests, you get discounts on merch, discounts on live shows, early access to tickets for stuff like that, and also you get access to every single Patreon episode we've already done as soon as you sign up. There's a shitload of stuff there. It's a massive bag catalogue. We've been doing this for months now. Sign up today at patreon.com slash have a weird pod. The link is in the description. Subscribe to this channel while you're there. Give us a little like on the video and let's get to the podcast. And let's make a podcast. I am getting a dog and I'm going to call it Kobe. Oh. <laughs> Not Hans. No. <laughs> Not Mumbenwe. Hans is dead. I can't name it after someone who's dead. So is Kobe. <laughs> oh, yeah. So is Kobe. <laughs> you both bit. Oh, <laughs> oh you pathetic. A weak star. <laughs> of fucking idiots. <laughs> It's yeah. so so the form of this <coughs> show, isn't it? Like, I said something wrong! Oh, <laughs> they were fishing for it. Irania. Yeah, little Kobe the Cavapoo. Excuse me, what? <laughs> little Kobe the Cavapoo. It's time to Cavapoo. <laughs> yeah, We've had him in a park. <clears throat> so you're getting a Cavapoo. Yeah. Rescue, though, obviously, because that's the kind of I'm guy you are. I'm rescuing it from a kennel that you give two grand for looking after it for a bit. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's an essential part of... It's like a high-end rescue dog, isn't it? Here's the thing, right? So I tweeted yesterday. Here we go. Said, Here's the ethics of buying <laughs> high-breed dogs. Go right. on. I tweeted yesterday, fuck it, I'm getting a puppy next week. And a couple of comics have messaged me, like from the lefty, oh, socially aware world that we work in, going, please rescue. Please do a rescue. Don't be buying, do a rescue. Now, have they met you? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Hey, hey. Like, like Adam's going to do dog buying hey. based on the pressure of his peers. Hey, listen. <laughs> Why did you get that one? Because <laughs> I got tweets from some London comics. Listen to me, right? I would prefer to rescue. I really mm. would. I think it's the right thing to do. And if there was a pedigree cavapoo in the rescue centre, <laughs> young, a young one, a baby one. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I want a puppy. I don't want some second-hand 2009 dog. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's seen some shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like, I would rescue. Like, Minnie, my old dog, we rescued uh, Simba, my dad's dog, was a rescue. I would rather do it because you save some fucking money when yeah. you rescue one. Yeah, yeah. I'm a good person, but fucking No, up. I would. Like, I'd rather rescue, but, like, at the minute, there's only, like, four, five, six-year-old dogs at the dog Trust in Liverpool. And I don't want someone's second-hand dog. I want me fucking first-hand dog. Do you know what I mean? Right. You want to rescue a brand-new dog? Yeah. I want to rescue a dog. I want one that, like, you know, some kid got for Christmas, and then the ma's gone, it's fucking shitting everywhere. Send it to the pound. What, a cock... A cock a- What's it called? Cavapoo. A cavapoo. Just a put cavapoo. it in danger before you buy yeah, it. It's a King Charles Cavalier crossed with a poodle. Oh, King Charles Cavalier crossed with a poodle. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite specific going into a rescue centre asking for that, isn't it? No, like, that's a very well-known breed. Lad. Hey, just put it in, put the dog in danger before you buy it. Why? Because then you can say you've rescued it. Yeah. Like, set fire river. to the kennel. What, be one of them pricks near the side of the road with the dog like, ah, pull it back, <laughs> save your life. I'm a re- uh, I rescued rescue. the dog. Yeah, set fire so to yeah, the kennel. Yeah, I would rescue, but there's none available at the minute, and it's my birthday on Monday. <laughs> when, well, when this episode goes out, <laughs> when this episode goes out, dog. publicly, it's my birthday, so comment happy birthday in the in the comments if you love me, <laughs> uh, or if you don't. Um, but basically, I'm it's getting myself... needy, that one. I'm getting me, I am needy. <laughs> We're in lockdown, and I, I live know. alone. I need a dog, and I need compliments, okay? He's in my bubble. Yeah. Danny, are you a dog person? I fucking hate him. Do you? No. We just had, I was just calling back to the conversation, conversation we had before the podcast, where Carl went, I hate people that hate dogs. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I like dogs. Do you like that? Do you like that? <laughs> I can't help it, can you? As soon as you say, oh yeah, I like dogs. I like caravans more. more. Um, I do. I've never, we've never owned one, but my uh, my dad's got dogs. 
And Why don't you get a Caverpoo with me at the same time? I don't really think that's going to be the synchronicity that's going to happen. Why? Because no, I struggled to get a phone call out of the fucker. Um, so can you imagine, like, I dad not spoken to you for a while. No, no, but no, no. Could you go down with Adam to a rescue? <laughs> no, 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 with him? no, 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 not for him, for you. Right. Why don't me? In my head, I was like, why do you want to get the same puppy as my dad and my stepmom? <laughs> Well, we were gone, weren't we? But we but his mum's being all fucking. No, I'm not paying that for the dog. Yeah, two grand's a lot. Yeah, but why don't you? It is. Why don't you get one? With He's going to pay more for his dog than you are for your car. That's the sad why thing. don't Why don't you get a, a cab poo the same time as me, brother and sister? And in a few years, we'll make them fuck and we'll we'll share the money 70-30. <laughs> good. good. I like the split. Um, <laughs> That's actually I, good. Yeah. That's a good split for breeding yes. dogs. Someone. Yeah, but they're not really arse dogs. About what? Dogs love shagging the sister. All animals interbreed. <laughs> cut, cut that one off. They don't call them rowy breeds. <laughs> <All that. laughs> they don't. It's never gonna end. They don't. No, all brothers and sisters love to fuck. <laughs> says a guy without a sister. Um, yeah, but all animals interbreed though, except for. I have got a sister. I've just never met her. So that's true. <laughs> well, I never told you about this. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. dear. Have I never told you about this? <laughs> what the fuck? My dad's got a half Chinese daughter. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. It's true. You mean this bullshit bell is not needed? Nope. I shouldn't be saying this. But yeah. Do it! Do it! <laughs> Literally, on I behalf of all the people watching this. Yeah, me, me dad had a daughter who, like, he doesn't know. And Adam likes, Adam's got a fetish for Asian people as well. I haven't got a fetish for <laughs> yeah. Asian people. That is offensive and racist in equal measure. No, but you do like, you're you're intrigued by Chinese culture. Is yes. That to say? <laughs> Salt and pepper chicken and that. Salt and pepper chicken, <laughs> the triads. You've got it. What I mean is, he could, he could bang his sister and never know. Yeah. Right, okay, good. Yeah, I mean, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? If you've never... It would be awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any half Chinese goes... Where do I recognise your eyes from? No. <laughs> like looking in a mirror. <laughs> would be fucking awkward, yeah? It'd be really awkward. <laughs> oh, dear. That was such a specific joke, and it worked so well. Oh, that's made my tits sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Right, before we start talking about coverpoos, cockapoos, and fucking two grand rescue dogs, you have <laughs> serious. No, are you just. Damn, are you just hand playing ball? He has. Uh, is it half sisters? Or, I, don't, I don't know. Half sister? I've never really asked too many questions about it. Come half on. Half sister, half brother. Come on. <laughs> no. No, now I want to get the bullshit bell out. I feel like, Carl, you've. you've you're, Tell, tell us some of the story. My dad went on holiday to Beijing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that, that bit's a lie. That's where I'm out. I'm it at, isn't. Uh, what? It isn't. I thought he met in like Liverpool. No, he went on holiday to Beijing, met this girl. She what? come back with him. When? Like a few years before he met me. Ma. Yeah. She come back with him. Went so, to Beijing in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, mm, I think a lot of... East Liverpool, South Liverpool, painter and decorators <laughs> were going oh, to Beijing. Beijing in communist China in in the eighties. What a sitcom that! Uh, <laughs> the re the unlikely lad. <laughs> I'm going to do some fucking work, mate, in the cathedral in Beijing, in the fucking wigwam. He did though. He went on all these to Beijing. He met a girl. She wanted to go travelling. Taylor's all this time. <laughs> she wants to go travelling. So she come back and started their travelling. Mr. The Meek, Mr. Meek. <laughs> I want to see Norris Green. <laughs> she come back with him. Tell to me, Dovey. tell me, <laughs> will we be able to visit <laughs> Canals Lake? <laughs> Must be somewhere in Spain. Um, come on. <laughs> She, she I'm came, on the hook, sort of. She came back with him. It's she really... went travelling, but like when she went travelling, he got a letter saying I'm pregnant, but you're never seeing the kid. I'm back to China. And it's, it's dead hard to find people in China. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Wally? There's loads but of Chinese people. China is one big game away as Wally. <laughs> yeah, with just one half Scouse girl. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know I'm a red, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, <laughs> Up the red! It goes down really well there, like. <laughs> 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 
Ministry for the Interior. Oh. Right. Here we go. Oh, God. All right. I can't buy. Truth or lie? Truth or lie. It was fine. But as soon as it was Mick Rowe going to Beijing in the 80s, I can't have All it. All 100% true. Yeah, it's all true. That's not a lie. He's got a half Chinese sister. But you can't ring your dad now and be like, Dad. No. <laughs> no. He's it's, like, he can never know it's on the episode. <laughs> it's, it's public. Yeah. He's banned from China. Really? Yeah, he's got a thing on his passport, a stamp saying, Stop fucking our no women. China. <laughs> it, it says what? No, no China. No China. <laughs> China. <laughs> it's two different stamps. It's like no, and then they pick. No. Where you're not allowed to go. <laughs> no. Stay out of. <laughs> How much of this podcast is just bullshit? That's all true. It's just mad. Mm. Of all the things Carl. that are actually true. Carl, don't look at him. Look at me. I'm looking at you. Carl. Yeah. His dad didn't go to Beijing in the eighties, did he? Now you looked. Come on. I don't know that bit, but I know he has a half Chinese sister. And you've had no no contact? That I know of. From Lil Ro? <laughs> she might have served them. What's she called? Do you know? Do you know her name? May Lin. May, May, May Lin. Yeah, her name is Ballot. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> Just go on, do it. Chinese Kobe. <laughs> Oh no, that's Japanese Kobe. <coughs> oh, Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> Mr. Meek, Mr. Meek. We've got a problem. Oh. Getting a dog then. <laughs> no dogs. No Irish. <laughs> no Chinese. <laughs> Chinese eat dogs, don't they? Don't bring around your new dog then, huh? Famously. Was it Korean that? Have you seen that Korean, tweet yeah. from a? Have you seen that tweet from the Chinese Communist Party? Yeah, all good. Yeah, have you seen it? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I haven't. Do, do you actually not? Do you know? <laughs> so it's basically, like, listen, I know we've done a bit of ethnic cleansing, but they're happier. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> they were they were a bit muzzy, <laughs> and we've had a chat. We've taken them away like a Chinese butlins, and now they're back and they're happy. Why have I not seen this? This is not even, he's not even like messing. So it says, study shows that in the process of eradicating extremism, the minds of, is it Erga? How do you pronounce it? Erga Muslims. No, it's not. It's U Y G U R. Do you know it? I don't know why I looked at you as if like you're an authority on all I think it's the Urukai. Urukai. I think it's the Urukai. Urukai. Okay. No, it's not. The minds of Erga Muslims. No, it doesn't even say Muslims. Studies show. Uh, in in the process of eradicating extremism, the minds of Erga women in Jingyang were emancipated and gender equality and reproductive health were promoted, making them no longer baby-making machines. They are more confident and independent. And that is from the verified Chinese embassy in the US. And it was liked by Beyonce. So that's nice, isn't it? All the women independent. Was it really liked by Beyonce? I don't think so. <laughs> 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 Not bad. Okay, now. Oh, yeah. oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single so what, ladies. What? Where's your husband? He's not coming home. Uh-oh. So, what's layman terms for that then? For people, basically, who don't what they've said because, like, it's been sort of a not too well kept secret that there's been like what, the, Muslim the, con- the Chinese and Nazis, Muslim yeah, yeah. concentration camps in China, but no one really talks about it because everyone's scared of China because there's fucking loads of them. <laughs> That's what we keep going back to. Yeah. Um, so they've been ethnically cleansing Muslims. Like they've been putting them in concentration camps and teaching them not to be Muslim, like torturing them until they no longer believe their religion. And they've essentially said, Look, we have been doing that. But the better put the smile on her face. <laughs> They're no yeah. longer baby Can we just find out? You can what, see it now because she's no longer wearing is. the stuff. I feel like we need to know. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't want to download a free audio book every fucking time. Right. We are looking at how to pronounce the name of this Turkic speaking minority ethnic group oh. originating from and culturally <laughs> affiliated with the general region of Central and East Asia. The Uyghur people. Or Uyghur. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the what? The Uyghurs. The Uyghurs. 
I don't think he's right. Uh, the Uyghurs, the Uyghur Muslims, <laughs> can be found in uh, student unions around Britain listening to hip hop for so many Uyghurs. reasons. Here are more videos on how to pronounce all the uh, Uyghurs. There's just the, the 14 minutes in, and there's been more problematic stuff in this episode than all the others combined, and that's yeah. saying quite a lot. Hey, for I, us. we were trying to learn then. Uyghurs. Uyghurs. Can we just stop making that second and uh, third syllable? Uyghurs. Uh, <laughs> Uyghurs, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's the line, isn't it? They're right there. Uyghurs. Oh, God. Uruk, um, Uruk, Urukai. Oh, it's fucking awful. Yeah. Horrible. What's the Napier? That's weird. <laughs> oh, Jesus Do you Christ. Know worse than Russia? It says, why would and they every- be tweeting that the Napier? <laughs> yeah. They're not going to lie about it. Hey, you don't lie on Twitter. <laughs> Who would lie on Twitter from an official position within a government? Yeah, it's got a little flag on it and it says China government accounts, so you know that they're telling the truth. It's the Chinese embassy in but the look, US. See the little flag? China oh, yeah. At Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's officially a China government account. So. You know how like, are Twitter not flagging that? Like is Twitter, Twitter a terrified a bit, of China. Twitter a bit like um, I know President Trump is inciting like all sorts of like hate and violence, but oh, he's got a hundred million followers. Have you seen, what, seen what's happened? He's been indefinitely banned off Facebook and Instagram, and he's been uh, suspended from Twitter. And breathe in, breathe out. We'll get through this together. He's off Snapchat. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they've closed his Snapchat account. <laughs> Snapchat account so. No more orange dick pics. <laughs> no more little Donald. And he banned TikTok center. himself, didn't he? So yeah, he on TikTok. Can't be, he's back on MySpace now. Pixel, MySpace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Donny's <laughs> Webby. Yeah. Pixel.com. <laughs> Rate the boys. Rate the boys. <laughs> Just him and Mike Pence. <laughs> oh, Dan, you missed. You that. missed you all missed that. Rate the you? boys, didn't you? Did you miss it as well? Oh, We're in like that perfect mate. middle ground. Of what? Pixel. Do you ever have a Pixel account? Pixo. It would make your own website essentially, but a free domain. Right. And uh, it was like social media before social media. So yeah, you had your, your own, own website. website. And each page, people would make rate the boys. So it'd be you and pictures of all your mates. Like, oh, he's fit, him. Yeah. Or like, rate the girls. Oh, or you'd do like a versus, and there's like a little comment box. So it'd be like a picture of me, a picture of you. And like a number one, number two. And then people would comment either one or two on who they fancied the most. Right. Yeah. Mine was. I mean, that's what's been going on in schools. For fucking years. Yeah, they put it but online. it's just putting it on. Yours was in the toilet. Mine was it. Yeah, my picture was in the toilet, yeah. I, I, we can slide that in here. You can put that picture in. I'll send it's you in a bit. Um, Were you at school with mobile phones? Because that, that, yeah. that's how old I, I am. Just. Yeah. I got my fo- I got my first phone in 98. Yeah. Well, I, was, I, I finished school in 97. Just. We had like um, D500 Samsung. Blackberries. Blackberries. <laughs> Flip ups. Yeah. yeah. Motorola. Yeah, the most relevant. I used to play. Um... <laughs> Sorry, miss. <laughs> I'm just busy getting all the pussy. <laughs> what do you say, lad? I used to play Worms Armageddon in maths. Do you remember what your Pixo website was? You URL. Mine was Rowies Dash Webby dot Pixo dot com. Rowies Dash Webby. They don't exist? call me Rowie Webby. It might be. Oh, please. Oh, Pixo. So is this, is this pre MySpace? By the way, hyphen Webby. Is this pre MySpace? Yeah. How the fuck? W E Y S hyphen W E B B Y. It looks like Pixel doesn't exist anymore. Uh, How have we got from ethnic cleansing in China (laughs) to Rowy fucking Webbies on Pixel? Yeah, Pixel is no longer the main. Ah, Back then, they did call me Rowy Webby. Rowy Webbies. Mm -hmm. I had a couple as well. I I shared a Pixel with my cousin as well. Dolly. Adam and no, Danny. Adam and Danny.pixel.com. Adam and Danny. Yeah. Time to have a pixel <laughs> with Adam and Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures of me and our Danny in different parts of my bedroom. It's like... Solid. Did you, you, you invented Instagram. Did you have MySpace, Dan? Yeah. Yeah. Does it still exist? Surely it doesn't. Oh, please. Surely MySpace isn't still a thing, is it? Is it still up? Yeah, Tom's still fucking banging shit out. Um, Everyone's friend, Tom, from MySpace. I don't think it's a... Yeah, I did have a MySpace. I think just every... It, that was, what, what 2005? 2004? Uh, MySpace is still a thing, but it doesn't... And then Facebook's... Facebook kicked off in, what, 2006, 2007? Do you reckon we're going to get more or less downloads in China this week? More. You reckon? Uh, you reckon they've got like an algorithm checking it? Yeah, I'm not even sure you can, can you? Can what? Watch it in China. We well, can't. No, yeah. you can download it, though. You have Spotify in China? Yeah. 
I know you Jesus can't. You won't be able to have Christ. YouTube, will you? Because it's owned by Facebook. Let's not underestimate the amazing freedoms we have. I know we bitch and moan, but there are people in the world well, living like under I can't that tyranny. Fucking have a rave for me, birthday. You tomorrow. can't fucking watch have a word, and there's billions of them. North Korea is mad. I'm so interested in North Korea. Yeah, so I did a bit of crowd. Adam's work. dad actually went to North <laughs> Korea, and uh, no Beijing. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought he, I thought he did a little mini tour. No, no, he went Beijing, come back, got himself a missus, Shh. checked out. Is that what he did it for? What? He went over there to to find a, a lady. To find love. Anyway, North Korea. It was a dating we... show back in the 80s. Was it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Scouts is a brother. Find a Chinese bride! <laughs> <laughs> North Korea is incredible, though. Um, have you ever seen the, the American student who got turned into a cabbage? Yeah, that's a pretty sad story, isn't it? Fucking a what? hell. There's a, you can do like these mad trips where, like Chernobyl, you can pay to go as a group. Yeah, I've seen them. One of them's go to North Korea. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I thought that you weren't allowed to to. No, no. So you, you've also got to have a, a guide with you. There's like all these mad rules. It's a very restrictive tourist oh, totally, visa. Yeah. yeah, totally. Um, no, no phones allowed. No cameras whatsoever. Healthy. You could sneak one in though. They do. Really healthy. Um, yeah. his name is. I can't remember what his name was. Kim Young. If, if you YouTube it, you'll find it that easy. But he takes it. Um, <clears throat> He takes a picture off the wall, a poster of the supreme leader in the hotel. as like a, um, a, a memento. As a memento of the trip. Got caught on CCTV, got arrested, um, got sentenced to a lifetime of hard labour in North Korean camps. And um, I think it was Obama fought for him to come home. He was there for like six months, fought for him to come home. And when they got him home on the plane, he was like, he died two days later. He was just a cabbage, you know. In a wheelchair, they just like this is the comedy like, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Have a word if you see just, the thing it's is, interesting though, as fuck right, no, if, that's, happen, I'm, I'm, if yeah. that's happening in North Korea and that's happening in China, right? And obviously, there's other places over there you don't know what's going on. Why are you so bothered about Russia? They seem quite sound, yeah. They're dead sound, yeah. There's nothing going on in Russia, dead sound. You don't hear about it, great government, great. You don't hear about it when they poison people in this but country, it, yeah. But he. He brought that on himself a bit, though, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, you're Lithian right. Yenko. Whatever his no, name was. No, the guy in Salisbury. The bald fella, didn't he, Aussie? They all end up looking like that. <laughs> the first one was Lifting Yenko, wasn't it? Was it, yeah? Yeah. Ah, it's just mental, isn't it? it absolutely mental. No, I don't... It, it, I'm, Would you rather It's not to... on him. It's not on him with the North Korea visit. No. But it's a fucking risky trip, isn't it? And people want to do that sort of... That's not tourism... That's traveling and that's... I want to do... I want to go to... But how are they allowed to function? It's just horrific. Man. Could you not just wear like a little sneaky GoPro like in a flower or something? Yeah, they'd be sound about that. <laughs> they don't check. <laughs> they don't check. Would cameras. you rather... Right, so mm -hmm. imagine... I don't know whether we've done something similar to this actually, but let's say you you get done for a murder, right, and you've got to go on the run. So you've got a fake passport under someone else's name, right? Yeah. And you two options of Russia or China. You have post, posed this one, but it was so far back. I think you asked me this question in about 1998 on this podcast, <laughs> so it's fine. I think Russia, we'll... China, or North Korea? Where are you going? Uh... I've just had a mate live in China, in Beijing. I've got friends in China. No, no. I've in got family. <laughs> 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 See, Beijing's a bit different, isn't it? Like, because it's very westernized. No, it? I think they're in Shanghai. Again, it's the biggest city in China. But it's it? a really, yeah. <laughs> but it's really modern bits. <laughs> Little Wowie Bags is over there. <laughs> Wowie Bags. Good God. Oh, God. Have we spoken about the world breaking and not spoken about what happened in Washington two what days ago? In Washington? I go Shanghai. I go China. Go Shanghai. Would okay. you? Fucking okay. hate Russia. North Korea? 20, triple 20, double Nah, I'm all right. That doesn't sound good, does it? Depends how hard you are, though, innit? You send me a fucking... <laughs> you send me a dodgy WhatsApp and all of a sudden I'm coming like a vegetable. Oh, WhatsApp's encrypted. Right. So you, they wouldn't see that. No, I'd, I'd probably fuck it up and come back. I'd go North Korea, me, and try and sort of, like, be the first white person who ever becomes Supreme Leader. Yeah. Dennis Rodman's best mate with the, the Supreme Leaders, isn't he? You go North Korea. Mm. Try and infiltrate them. You, Dennis Rodman, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> yeah, good laugh. <laughs> what a film that'd be. What a sitcom. 
<laughs> Dennis Rodman teach me how to play basketball. And they're all notoriously smaller over and there. Kim so Jong- I'd probably make the Olympic no, team Yeah, smaller. yeah, but Kim Jong-un would <laughs> win every game. He wouldn't. I mean, he wouldn't, but according to North Korean state television, yeah, but it doesn't matter our anything. supreme leader beat Rowie Baggs and Dennis Rodman. I don't mind him lying, 27 though. 27 So that people respect him. Do you know what I mean? I get it. But I don't know. Like, it'd be all over the news, and I'd just be, like, sat there looking at him, like, we know, lad, you got dunked on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're really good at keeping that stuff to yourself, aren't you? Like I'd just be content knowing what I Don't know. Don't you think if you dunked on him, he'd just kill you? No, I've got stuff on him, haven't I? What incriminating photographs from what? your little flower camera? <laughs> hey, got your dick out here, didn't you? Dunking donuts. What? what incriminating? Are you going to give them to South Korea? <laughs> what are they going to do? Don't know. Look, I'm not saying I've fought it all the way through. <laughs> What about Washington, though? We haven't spoken about Washington. It's like the oh, yeah. end of the world. Good producing there, Carl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I felt, felt for Jilly Bean as she uh, invoked the, trying to, t- trying to invoke the 25th Amendment on Twitter. What is the 25th Amendment? Just means you can get rid of the president because they're unfit to rule. Oh, yeah. They're not going to do that now, are they? Oh, it looks Could, like they are. I don't know. There nah, was, they're going to wait now. Because he, he did that not- video last night, didn't he? Saying, like, uh, he's going to commit to a peaceful transition of power now. Like he, he, Good on him though, isn't it? Good. Now, do you know what? I was going to fight himself. a bit more. I had a bit of respect for Donald Trump when he was causing murder. Because I get that. You know what I mean? People, He's lost his election. Died. He's like, I'm fucking nearly dead anyway, so I might as well just cause absolute fucking murder. Let's just fuck. Yeah, go. Cause a fucking riot. Let's have a scrap. And I thought, do you know what? At least he's going out all guns blazing. And then the limp dicked fucker went on Twitter and was like, I want my account back. It's the I'm most sorry. grotesque human being yeah. to hold office serious office like you know when all those things are like he set a new san- standard for politicians lying because that's the sort of old thing about politicians are politicians lie you're like this guy has so little grip of what's right and what's wrong and what's truth and what's lie he started sowing the seeds of all these problems before the election because he saw the polls and we're like wow well, this is rigged this is rigged and he's fought and he's fought and he's fought with no consequence of like people's lives and also democracy in America and how they treated Black Lives Matter compared to how they treated this insurrection the other day in Washington. The, the fucking double standard. Imagine so like, if like literally every in Portland, they're like fucking using force to reclaim what the Capitol building, the state building. And then in Washington, they're like, oh God, got to go in. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, put quickly, put this wardrobe there. Stay back. Like, how the fuck did that happen? That's top down. Someone's gone, just leave it, see what they do. Don't. What, where were the military? It's a fucking disgrace what he's got away with. And the only argument for not invoking the 25th Amendment would to be just let him. He's now neutralized. He has no power. He can do nothing in two weeks. Mike Pence and Congress, Senate, it's all Democrat now. And. and and I don't know if that works out because the Senate's just been won for the Democrats, hasn't it, essentially? But he's he's neutralised. So just let him fade. If you invoke the 25th Amendment, do you just, like, rile up all the Trump supporters even more? So just let this absolute fucking horrific period of America's history just disappear. Like, instead of going, right, that's it, you're not president anymore, does that just fucking stoke the flames even more? Just let him quietly fuck off into ignominy. Like, and he's free for podcasts. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah, and he's up for podcasts. Imagine what it's like being, is it Melania, his wife? Yeah. Like, she's imagine, off here, though, isn't she? Imagine going to bed with him. Imagine, yeah. like... She's she's off. Yeah, before she before he, I don't know before he got together. into office, no, but I mean, imagine they re-signed the him. prenup, didn't they? They re-signed the prenup. She hassled, um, haggled for a, a, pre, a, a re-signed prenup to be like, I will stick for four fucking years, but that she got more money. Yeah. And she, I, I swear to God, after the 20th of January, the time is ticking on her going, fuck you, you horrible cunt. When do you reckon was the last time she sucked his dick? <sighs> I pre, it over pre-Oval thing. Office. You reckon? <laughs> I don't think she's reckon, gone next to little I reckon. Real- I reckon I, if I'm him... And like he's writing prenups, like you get more money. He's like, I want one blowy in the Oval Office. 
But you can't <laughs> with you Rudy can't. Giuliani sweating hair dye. Like, yes, Dan, we will get that done for you. You can't hold office and not get smoked in the in the Oval Office. Get smoked in the Oval Office. Can they get like girls coming? Come up? on, what's the point being president if you don't get to have a little bang in there? I don't think you're ever in there alone. Really. We're secret. What? We're secret nobody, service. Secret like, service no, his POTUS is no, about to chase. Not outside. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you stay outside there. I'm getting smoked. There's no way. <coughs> I just don't any think president it was, has I don't, ever gone through a full term and not got fucking oh, okay. stronged in the office. But I think we're talking about Melania. I think she'd be like, get someone else to do it, mate. There's no way he, he has ladies coming in to, to service them needs. There's no way she does that for him. Oh, God, I would not want to watch that. Oh, it's the best. Imagine how much they get paid, though. Oh, he's such a fucking... He's the, one of the, he's the worst person show. on the planet. He's literally the worst human being on the planet. He's worse than Putin. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? I don't know. They're, it's all just a fucking hellhole of scumbags, isn't it? Bum. You, where, where'd you get there? I don't know. Just intrigued. I'm trying to like get this political... Conversation back on comedy on brand. Oh yeah, okay. What do you reckon else for, <laughs> do you reckon else for breakfast? Do you reckon else like cocoa pops? Wow. Therefore, it's cocoa pops, doesn't he? Because he's a fucking child. He's addicted to diet pills, apparently, isn't he? He's a fat cunt as well. And diet. speed, do you reckon? Yeah, he's and maybe a be. bit of um, what's the limitless pill? Modafinil. Um, yeah, but it's got another name. What's that? Modafinil, the one that makes you cross. Adderall. Adderall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he likes an Adderall because he's always like. Would you try an Adderall? Be tempted just to see if, you know, give me superpowers or something. Would you try Ritalin? What? No, that's for ADHD, isn't it? Yeah. Would you try it for the, like a cause? If I got a prescription. <laughs> 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 no, but Adderall's meant to make you like super focused in it. But I know a comic who at some point will be on here. I won't name him in case he doesn't want anyone to know, but he takes it. And when he's on it, he's so like, I'm doing this, this, and he gets everything done. And when he's comparing on it, he's fucking flawless. And when he has the day where he crashes, he's one of the worst comics I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. <laughs> Not knowing this information is causing me actual pain. Yeah. It's like, it's, it, he's so like, bah, 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 bah. Northern? No. I think I know what it is. I don't think you do. Really? Yeah. That li- I doubt it. That limit, limitless pill. Yeah. That'd be amazing. And just to unload. Well, it's like Modaf- like Focus I know people who did Modafinil's in uni to do the. Is modafinil a type of Adderall? It's a type of. It's ADHD. a narcolepsy drug. <clears throat> but what the side effects is? I've tried it. Uh, the side effect is that it makes makes you more attentive and keeps you, in theory, focused without being speedy. Um, yeah. Which is pretty similar to Adderall. But yeah. I mean, these things will have a detrimental effect, won't they? And also, like you say, unless you're going to take them forever, you're like, hi, I'm high functioning next day. Like just a bag of Cheetos. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And also, what are you doing with that hy- hyper focus? Are you just like watching more episodes of How I Met Your Mother? <laughs> I just feel no, like, like, are you going to use it or it's are you meant, just gonna- like, I-, I struggle with focus, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so it's meant to like make you focus. So, like, when I've got like me tax returns, do, although my accountant does it, like, but I've still got to go through my fucking bank account and be like, this, 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 and this, and whatever. Like, that would be useful. Yeah. You- useful for that when I'm writing an Edinburgh show. When I instead of getting to the last week of July and being like, I've only got forty minutes. Yeah, problem with that is you're gonna write in about two hours and forty minutes, aren't you? Mm. <laughs> How's your Edinburgh show? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I've cut it down to a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> My Edinburgh show, whenever I get to the festival, is always like fifty minutes ish, and then by the end of it, I'm over and doing like an hour and ten. Yeah, because you pad it out, lose yeah. the lose the shit. Um, but yeah, I would take it, but like maybe when I've got some stuff to do, like clean the couch or something. We should take it just on an episode to see what happens. Yeah. Just see, see. Just be really what, serious. See what the results really are. Really, actually. Hi, guys. Welcome to Have a Word Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to solve your problems today. <laughs> How many Have a Words have they done in this section? 14. <laughs> Saw your shit out. Get me Daffodil. Get some Adderall. Come on. So, yeah, I'm getting a dog. Yeah. I'm going to call her Kobe. <laughs> now you got a sister. It's been a busy fucking new year, hasn't it? Yeah. Considering yeah. we're in a lock, how do you do uh, a dog in a lockdown? What do you mean? Well, they're they're still open because, like, it's obviously sen- it's, it's essential, essential because it's essential. Otherwise, dogs are going to waste. Why? There's a resell by date. No, but like 
there'd just be too many dogs in the kennels, wouldn't there? Right. And then they get too old, and then no one up on. Well, a month or two older. Yeah. Right. But it could be. See, you think it's going to be a month or two? We could be here for years, Dan. You've changed your fucking tune recently, haven't I you? I want me dog. Honestly, <laughs> a week and a half ago, he's like, "Yeah, probably be in tier two by February the fi- by January the sixteenth. Yeah. Right. Well, good luck. And what are you naming the dog? Have you got an Kobe. inkling? Are you really calling him Kobe? Yeah. It's a good name. It's a good name for a dog. It's kind of good, yeah. Kobe. 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 And when you throw him, I still think, hey, wow. you're not throwing a two grand dog, are you? <laughs> if I ever get a dog, I want a, uh, I want a used fucking. Yeah. I want that sort of like. Thank you. Like that PTSD thing of like. Scar- Thank you so much. Scarlet. Uh, is it Scarlett Dobson? I forget her surname because her, her name on Facebook is something else. But she messaged me like, you need to adopt. And then she sent me one and I was like, I haven't got the time for that one. It's like a really big one that needs hours and hours of exercise every day. I was like, oh, I was like, I've yeah. got the time now. But like when I go away, oh, I can't leave that with my dad. Want, you don't want a big dog that shits like a heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through the park, it's having a prolapse. Like, ah! no, <laughs> mate, you want to... Nice brand new cockapoo that does little fucking cover poo, little, a co- whatever fancy poo. Yeah, and gay dog. <laughs> you want a nice new gay then dog? She said to me, "Have you considered getting a disabled one? Because they're always really grateful." Fucking hell! It's like, no, I don't want a dog in a wheelchair. Does she date like that? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Get a disabled. Boy. Who's your new partner? I'm not sure his name. He can't pronounce it, but he is so grateful to be here. Like. Ah! <laughs> Rob Mulholland suggested a little <laughs> <laughs> We love it that we just talked about disabled boyfriend. Rob, Rob, Mulholland. Rob Mulholland. He suggested a load of names and uh, Elliot Steele. Like he gave like odds on like Eshan Achbach, Rowie Barks. And Rowie stuff Barks like that. was good. Um, and Elliot Steele said, uh, I want odds on Thatcher. And I was like, that's actually quite a good name for a bitch who's going to be shitting all over the council estate. <laughs> Zing! Let's have a break. Um, oh, before we go for a break, can I just tell you about my new YouTube show? YouTube show? Say it right, Dan. Show me the sample. Uh, I've launched it. Cheating with- on us? He's I- having an affair? <laughs> I really felt bad launching another thing. I was like, oh, God, guys, I'm launching another thing. It's called Show Me the Sample. It's me and my uh, DJ friend, DJ Felix Leiter, and uh, he plays me a track, and I know nothing about it, and he tells me about the samples in it. It's out every Thursday. Check it out on YouTube. Show me the sample. Thank you. I also want to give a quick uh, shout-out to a lad. He's a patron of ours and has been from the start, an OG. His name's Kiefer, uh, and he's recently started a sweet business, uh, not like a couch sweet, as in, like, Sweetie Sweets. And he does, like, these big pizza boxes full of sweets. He dropped me one off. He dropped Carl one off. Dan's getting one this week. Uh, On Instagram, they are high underscore life underscore confectionery. Uh, Go and check them out because the box I got was delicious. Fire. And when I'm hungover on Sunday, I'm going to be making my way through it. I love this podcast, and I love the many sort of roads we travel to get to the same point. But to start off with, I'm getting a dog to get to all the places we got to including, you know, genocide, <laughs> ethnic cleansing, the fucking uproar in Washington, to end on back on dogs and also a shout out for a sweet shop is <laughs> pretty fucking incredible. Sounds like good production to me. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Let's have Call a little... Uh, prods for nothing. <laughs> Prod your man. <laughs> that... that. <laughs> That thatch of it felt like such a zinger. It felt like <laughs> it felt like we do one of the American late night. Like you were saying yourself, like, and that's a line. Pow! <laughs> no, but I could be friends with King Jong Un. <laughs> right. See you in a bit. What's happening, guys? Today's sponsor is Beer52.com. They are the UK's number one craft beer discovery club, and they've teamed up with us to give our listeners a free case of beer. That means you get eight free beers, an award-winning beer magazine, and a tasty snack as your first free order. And it's free, you pay nothing, you just pay the £5.95 postage and packaging. You'll then be a member of their Craft Beer Discovery Club, and they send you a different theme of beers every month. Past themes have been the beers of Belgium, the beers of Korea, California, all over the world. Every month, a new theme, and they're always a belter. You'll find craft beers that you'll never find on your own. And also, you can pause your membership at any time. 
So do us a favor, support the podcast, support our sponsors, go to beer52.com slash weird. That's B-E-E-R 52.com slash W-O-R-D. Every time you sign up, we get a little bit of money. So you get your free beers. There's a little bit of money to support the podcast. It's win-win. I'm a member. I love it. Let's get back to the podcast. We're we'll going to get some beers. Pause it here. Go and get some beers. B-52. Uh, oh, we're back. And we are back. Welcome back to part two of four of the Have a Word podcast. This week's guest is the incomparable Tony Carroll. We'll get to him in a bit. But for now, it's just us two cons. So far this episode, we've touched on genocide, um, the American amendments thing. Dogs. Uh, (laughs) But the wheels are coming off this. Dogs. The American amendment, you know, the the shooting and the... (laughs) ah. Uh, North Korea, my family tree, and now we've got some questions. We've got a question about something from someone, haven't we, Dan? That, that is too much of a setup, isn't it? And uh, Danny, you're going to say that using your voice and breathing and noises from your mouth? If you could do that now. Uh, Mark Woodward says, Hey up, Carl, Dan, or Finn. Okay, good. Not trying. Woke up this morning and realised I'm 30 next year. Was a bit shook. Does Adam realise that yet? Wonder how he feels about that. Lol. <laughs> hey, Woodward's Woodward's up on the band. Well, Woody. I, I uh, yeah. So the, the day this goes out, I have ten twenty nine. By the time this goes out, muscle tough. Um, and I looked into the rules around lockdowns, and you can still have uh, a oh. gathering for a funeral. So I'm having a funeral for my twenties. <laughs> like it. Still twenties. Are you still in your twenties? Yeah, but like for the the stars of the end of my twenties. Obviously, you're having a funeral for the start of the end of your twenties. <laughs> <laughs> Good save. I don't think that's the most. I don't think that's, that's the biggest issue of that. Well, part of it. I, no, 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 no. He's having a wedding for the first part of his life and the next year of it. Twenty-eight plus one, and that's a wedding. And that's how many people are allowed in that. Adam, I'll get ordained, and I'll just marry. What? I'll just marry someone at the gaff. Oh my god! Let's actually do that. You can marry Dolly and Luke. They're already engaged. Get your say. How quick can you get ordained? I please get ordained. You can get it on the internet. Go to IWantToBeOrdained.com. Right, we need, um, <laughs> very, very quickly, we need to have a word listeners that are thinking about getting married and you need to shuffle that forward and do it. Adam's gaff. Yeah, you can. Uh, the Universal Life Church. Yeah, there you go. Lad, I'd it. please do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ordained right now. Yeah, please do. Put it on the expenses. <laughs> Can't, can't have him paying for his own ordaining, can we? Come on. Do we use my real name, though? Yeah. yeah. You've got to do it. Otherwise, Carl, you're just a fake priest. <laughs> <laughs> you stand at a lectern of lies. Yeah, you get ordained and then... Uh, See if they'll let you do Sensei Carl. <laughs> I will. No, you've got to do it properly. What? If the busies turn up at me party, that isn't happening. Yeah. <laughs> Wedding. Can you can you prove you're ordained? I don't have the printout, <laughs> but I got the email. <laughs> I put, I put the, you know, on a train when you're trying to get your booking thing. I've got my email. There you go. Proper. Father Carl. I'm currently being ordained. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what 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 would you be referred to as? Vicar Carl. Doc. Doc. I'm ordained. Lads, you've not even put your fucking postcode in. Quick. You've not even really? put your postcode in. Oh. No. Really? How, how can if that be I possible? A certificate. <laughs> that took 14 seconds. Go back. It's utter bullshit. <laughs> What's the church? The Universal Life Church. The Universal I'm Life Church. I'm an all day minister. I'm... Tweet that from like the hardware account saying, Carl can now post. <laughs> You're getting married, I said. Oh my god, go up and get your suit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I tried to do it and I did Northern Irish. Go on, oh, getting married, I said. Get your suit. Get up and get oh, your you suit. did Northern Irish. He's not Irish. Shout out no, to Darren he's Conway. not, is he? He's from Dublin. Dublin. Oh, sorry, yeah. Go, on, Very go on and get your suit. Uh, I oh, love, it's Northern Irish. I love Darren Conway. I've forgotten my fucking so get up Dublin. and get your suit on. I'm just going to do John Lynn. It's only the lads. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, go and check out Darren Conway and his wedding speech. Oh, so We're funny. having a wedding. Yeah, well, I'm ordained, so get message suit. me if you want to get fucking 
I can legally do it in the States as well. So yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. That I mean, they'll let you in to do that, won't they? Yeah. I mean, they've shut the borders, but fucking hell, you're an ordained priest. Yeah. I'm a minister now. So I'm either Sensei Carl or Minister Carl. Father Carl. Father Carl. Father, come on. Just Father Carl. Oh, no, I want to be Daddy Carl. Papa Carl. No, Papa. no. How <laughs> fucking... Mate, Papa by the way, Carl. if you're in the Catholic Church and you're training to be ordained as a priest and you say, uh, I don't actually want to be called Father Carl, I want to be called Daddy Carl. <laughs> that's a red flag. I mean, they're only really going to notice that red flag in the last few years, but Grand for Master? a lot of like... No, Grandmaster no, Carl. No, it's got to be religious. Papa Carl. You're not in a hip-hop okay, fucking do- troop. Do- him and him and a Papa, Can I be the doctor? kid and the Holy Ghost. What's No, you've got to be Father Carl. No, Papa Carl. But they sounds like a Smurf. <laughs> Either way, I've got legal documentation here and I can marry you. Sweet. If you just don't pack it in, I'll marry you. <laughs> That'd be big of me. And annoying. Um, I don't think... L- Laura will let a lot slide, you know? <laughs> I even... We were just talking about it in the break. I, I, uh, we put a clip out from a, a Patreon episode a few weeks ago. Where you say you want a gangbang. <laughs> where everyone's like, what's your fantasy? And Adam's like, uh, like a tennis outfit. And I'm like, gangbangs. And I, what my five month pregnant wife watching it went, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, She's sound. I don't think she's going to put up with Carl marrying us. Why? I think that's the line. Why? I think that would be the line. Not even on a lockdown lock-in. Oh yeah, fuck. It's a lockdown lock-in, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just get it an old a few days later. Father, Father Anal. Carl, are you ready to move on from Sensei Carl, or do you, are you attached to? I it? mean, I'm always going to be the Sensei, but I mean, you can hide. I anything. think we should go into a new era of you being Father Carl. But I hate Catholicism. Can I you really take confession, it. Papa Carl? Yeah, like Big Papa. I'll yeah. take Papa. I Carl. love it when they call me Big Papa. Once again, it is a bit of a red flag though if you go into a place of worship and it's like, "Call me Papa." Can I go oh, in the church yeah. now? Like, yeah, they never shag kids there, do they? Can I go in the church now and just like do shit? So subtle. <laughs> so subtle. Can what? I go and use their printer and stuff? <laughs> Who? The church. The Church of Universal. No, can I go into a church now and go? Right. No. No. You're not, I, you're not ordained in their church. Yeah. Right? They have different, like, you have no. to pass a test. I, I think, don't know if you've heard, but one. religions can get a little bit territorial. I don't know if you know that about certain religions, as in all of them, apart from like... The Catholic ones two. have like a test. You have to do an exam. You yeah, have to yeah, like yeah. know all the words to the hymns and that. Like in Belfast, that's caused a lot of pr- problems in the past with like oh. Protestant and Catholic priests trying to use each other's printers. They're not like each other. <coughs> oh, mate, they're really f- fuming. We're having a march. Can we just print out some leaflets? <laughs> not in this fucking church. You have to recite uh, the Bible backwards. <laughs> what? To be, to be a Catholic. As in... Say the words backwards. Yeah. And backwards. <laughs> Whoa. What? Wow. <laughs> I that felt like you were being racist the... towards your sister there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not, that's worse than me fucking mispronouncing the Uruka. No, I was just saying in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> So you're all right about being 30. You're all right about being 30. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to suit being 30 more than my 20s. I'm quite mature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Carl? Because you're the same age, aren't you? Uh, when yeah. are you 29? Uh, February. End of February. God. Um, I'm last. Like, I'm, I'm the biggest kid ever, so I'm not going to stop just because the number changes. And my thirties, I feel like I'm gonna be better than my twenties. I spent most of my twenties literally like borrowing bus fares to get to gigs, and now I pay for my own petrol. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do a joke. I pay for my own petrol and council tax. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ask. Think that <coughs> I'm up pay as you best. go. Fuck you. What? Like so? We're gonna be successful thirty year olds as well, so it makes a difference, yeah. doesn't it? Like we're gonna have good thirty. In my twenties, I just had fun. I did comedy throughout. Just had fun. Fucked about. In my thirties, that turned into meeting someone, settling down, and that's all boxed off now. I'm forty in two months, and that's where we get rich. I want to have six children by the time. I'm and then 40. I'm really going down the gears in my fifties. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be wealthy, probably divorced. When she's watched too many stupid fucking videos when I talk about gangbangs. Yeah, like I'm, I think I'm gonna settle down in my thirties. I'd like to think so. Yeah. Yeah. Just try not to settle down before then, eh? <laughs> Um, eyelids this seems a tough one to phrase into an obvious question as no regrets is the easy answer when thinking about what you've done so far 
But what I want to ask is, if you started your comedy career today with all the knowledge of your successes and failures, what would your comedy roadmap look like? Are there people or gigs that you'd avoid? Is there a gig you'd say no to uh, that, you, that you have said yes to? Um, is there stuff you would have done differently? Did you burn material by doing Edinburgh too soon? I always love your comedy insights and hope you can give light uh, to what you may have done differently and how that have changed where you are now. Cheers. That's from Dan Johnson. Dan, you've sent some fucking great questions. So if you could go back to the start, is that 2010? I, I mm -hmm. sort of misquoted the timescale on that. Sunday the 27th of June, 2010. February the 8th, 2002. You always remember your comedy birthday, don't you? I remember it as well because England were knocked out by Germany of the World Cup and Lampard scored a goal that was about three yards over the line, but they just allowed it. <sighs> a sad day, but a happy day. What would you have done differently? You can have a little... You can have a little... Ch you, Charlie... It's, <laughs> see, it's it's very hard to, to say I'd do anything differently because, you know, things have gone sort of okay for someone a decade in um, who... Yeah, you've been on television several times and you've got one of the biggest podcasts in UK comedy. Yeah, managed to do a few tours, you know... Got to open for my absolute fucking my goat, my my comedy hero, if you for lack of a better term. You got one of your heroes uh, to open for you. I yeah, Freddie October. Quinn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ja, upset me, not me. Um, it's hard to say I do anything different. I tell you what, I would do differently, probably. <clears throat> um, but then I I struggle with questions like this. Because I'm a big sort of believer and, like, obsessed with, like, the butterfly effect. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, if I did this thing differently, then maybe all of those things wouldn't have happened. And I can't I can't pull myself away from thinking like that. No, it's it's a, it's a quite a sensible way of looking at it. Um, however, the, the story of uh, my mum's death that I did in my debut Edinburgh show because I had the idea of... You, you, got to use that for your debut. It's a big story. Like, you only get a chance to win Best Newcomer at the Edinburgh Festival once. I, I sort of thought that that's what I wanted. Um, I think I would save that until I was a better, more skilled... Con I Put it this way. I don't think the show I did in my debut year was very good. I think I could do that story very well now. I think if you spoke to every comic in the UK that's been going a certain amount of time and done an Edinburgh show... I think one of the things they change is when they did their first Edinburgh show. I, think, I, I wouldn't I, change that I did it then, but I wouldn't do that story. I would. That, Can you not use that story now? I should have. I, I should could. Have I probably that. will. It's a very good story. Oh, you'd be able to use it. Yeah. I, yeah. I did mine in 2008 after six years. I wish I'd waited another four so much because it was just, I was doing, my stand up was fine. Did you say you did it after six it years? It was all right. Yeah. Which, so is, which yeah. is a normal time to do it. It's not, yeah. it was like I did a job. But I look back and I was just doing okay circuit comedy. And the reviews and the general response was, yeah, it was okay. It's pretty good. It's all right. Yeah. If I'd have waited another four or five years with the show I took up in 2012, could have actually made some waves. But by then everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's been around. Yeah, if I'd, I'd done... have started this early, that's yeah. what I'd done. I, I've had this thought several times recently. You and You can't, it's easy to do this, but imagine... If I'd have got this kit together when I had expendable income, this is different for you because in 2010 you were starting out. In 2010, I earned really well from stand up. Like I was doing well. I was fucking around and drinking too much. I could have got some of this kit and should have started some of this. Back in the day when podcasting was like, there's five podcasts now. Like Ed Gamble and Ray Peacock. Peacock and Gamble did fucking numbers yeah. there's just nothing else about yeah. I wish I'd got on that earlier imagine I thought about this as well how could we have done it earlier because we couldn't have worked together like we do now more than two years ago I don't no, think no 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 I've thought about this quite a lot because it's very easy to go fucking hell why don't we start that sooner but it just never would have worked the way it did and the only reason this has been successful is because like We've worked our asses off for a full year now. This is our birthday episode, by the way. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, like our first birthday is the 10th of January. Marry us. I think it's right, actually. Um, yeah. So, 
a full year we've done this now and we've worked our asses off we've gambled at the right time by getting this place and bringing Carl in and then bringing Finn in like to, to sort of get things rolling and get the clips out and whatever but we've also got lucky and we've mentioned this sort of privately that it's 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 sort of a bit sort of weird to say but the pandemic has helped us a bit because when the lockdown hit and we went all in and we're like, we'll do it every day and we'll keep these people entertained and it gave us this relationship with our listeners that I don't think we would have got otherwise. And the relationship between me and you being sort of friends but not good friends yet and now we're really close and whatever, that's all happened at a very, very specific, perfect time. And if we'd have tried to do this three or four years ago, this podcast wouldn't be the enormous pile of bullshit, brilliant bullshit that it is. Also, so, it's about where you are in comedy as well. Yeah. If we'd have started this before you'd done the miles that you'd done, like if we say that we started in 2015 when I started my, my very first podcast, started in 2014, and I did 83 yeah. episodes, and it I literally, we get the views, total views, that my first podcast got in the first eight minutes of putting it on Patreon. <laughs> and that's what, literally 330 views or li- downloads. We do that when we press publish um you'd have been a comic on the way up mm-hmm. and like coming through the support ranks and everything i was a headliner that would have changed the relationship you were younger yeah yeah totally. I, and, and we came into this as two headliners to the point where you were doing tours you'd gone past me in the the, the pecking order but that wouldn't have been right either that yeah. would have been a. It would have been me. Do it would have been me doing yeah. you a favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is what is happening on other podcasts, and I understand it. I'm not knocking it at all. But we've benefited from going. Well, no way. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Coming as equals. But I wish. It's that. I I look back and go, fuck me. If you'd have just put some money into cameras and everything and work this out. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah. Um, um, it's a good question though, Dan, and I really like. Dan Johnson is a uh, a Hall of Famer for the oh yeah, yeah the amount of stuff we get more questions from him away. than anyone. He, he sends even more in than even Harry does. Yeah, it's superb, man. Uh, would you rather from Dan Pugh, who's another Hall of Famer, Ahmed, Darnell, Carlito, and Phineas? How are we? Would you rather have the power to instantly fall asleep whenever you want, so no late night insomnia? Carl's that's got a that. thing of the past, or have instant food, so breakfast, dinner, or tea, when you want it. You can just click your fingers, it's there. You don't get, like, pizza or gourmet food. You get what you would have had anyway, but you don't ever have to cook. You just get to go, bang, that's my breakfast. It's absolutely a piece of piss, this question. Sleep. Well, I can do that anyway, so food for me. He, you, sleep. oh, sorry, I thought you said he had insomnia. No, no, no. You can, just, you can just sleep anywhere. I, I stayed can. in his once. I, this was years ago. I'd had murder with me dad. So I was like, like, can I just come and stay in yours? And he had no spare bed, so I stayed in the bed with him. We were watching the telly. And he went, should we turn it off because we're getting up early in the morning, aren't we? And I went, yeah. And literally, he hit his head at the pillow. And then I went, hey, Carl. And he was snoring. I can sleep in 10 to 15 seconds. My girlfriend hates it. That's literally like... That's... That's a... That's almost worrying, isn't it? That if you were driving and you went, I was just like, no, I have to choose. Like narcolepsy. To do it. I've taught myself how to narcolepsy. Do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've taught myself how I to. Really thought it was necrophilia. It's like, it's like I just <laughs> closed my eyes. I'm fucking a dead body. <laughs> it's like, it's it's like hang lucid, out with the morgue. It's like lucid dreaming, isn't it? You have to teach yourself how to do it. I've taught myself how to sleep. Where's I, the best places you've slept? Because I, I need. I'm a like he's called me a, a fussy sleeper. I'm earplugs and. Oh no, I could I could sleep on the motorway. Noise, sound, like because I shared the bedroom with my older brother when I was little, and he was like listening to music or snoring, so I had to just learn to or smash and puss. He wasn't doing that, like, <laughs> but basically, I can sleep anywhere under any circumstance. <laughs> he might have been, and I might have rec- I might have fucking repressed <laughs> it. What's that song? <laughs> <laughs> He watches this. <laughs> uh, I know he does, yeah. That's why I said it. Shout out to our Paul. Um, um, but yeah, I can sleep. So the food on for me, because I can just sleep whenever I want. No, the sleep for me, like I had a fucking awful sleep last night. You know, you just can't get comfy. And I'm dead conscious of my arms. Because it <laughs> might pop out. <laughs> yeah. Not just like, oh. Like, yeah, because it might pop <laughs> 
<laughs> he's just had an edible. They're amazing. <laughs> they're just there. And they're like, they can do things. Like I struggle to sleep. You, when sleep. you come in and you've had a bad night's sleep, yeah. like you wear it. Like I, you, I'm wearing it today. No, 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 no. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Like there's been times when you've come in. Grumpy as fuck. And uh, especially when your anxiety was up with the end of the lockdown, which isn't like, that's not you on yeah, your yeah. own. A lot of people were suffering that. We got on those um, Zoom meetings and I could tell early on, I was like, okay. Yeah. And then you were like, yeah, I've not slept well. Let's look, come on, I can do this. And we did it. Yeah. Most days it was perfect. I, 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 I'm I, in a really good mood today and I was yesterday as well. You've been on a great, you've been on great form yeah. recently. Um. <laughs> but not sleeping. Yeah. Last night. Is, a, yeah. is killer. What are you looking at me like that for? Well, I'm looking at last night. It's, it's your little grin. I'm looking at the poster other. behind you. Shut up. Dreaming of. Um, dreaming of. Yeah, I just couldn't. Poop. I just couldn't sleep. I couldn't get comfy. Did you pull your pod? No. What? Didn't have to. If you if you rang, what? If you you just have to literally medically a nurse. What is it? Was it one two? What's the a wet nurse? Not a wet nurse. What's the <laughs> phone line you ring for health? I might have thinking like one one two. Oh. Yeah, as in not 999. Not 999, you speak to a nurse. She'd literally be like, medically, pull your pud. <laughs> She'd give you a prescription no, for a wank. It wasn't that. I didn't need to pull my pud. Right. I just I just couldn't get comfy. I just like... Just couldn't. Yeah. Ended up like spooning two pillows. Oh, you need a pregnancy pillow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got one. Like an L-shaped one. I had one of them from Ikea Huge a couple of years. Oh, things. I need to order one of them. In fact, I might do it. No, I can't do it now, can I? It's not... Professional, yeah, it's not um, online yeah. shop and Jordan partner. <laughs> I tell you, if you ever, if you've ever got wrecked in your life and gone clubbing, the first one is would be a wonderful superpower, because as you start stop feeling good and it's six in the morning and everyone's gone home and you're back in your bed and you and your heart's you're like everything about your body's like it's definitely time for bed apart from your heart that's like and then in that not like that can take three hours to get to sleep. Yeah. The amount of weird thoughts you have oh yeah yeah. oh my like, god that, that sort of i've turned to jesus i've stopped eating carbs in my head i'm like change dan change <laughs> what you're doing because i've just been like lying there for two hours like, i can't have another wank all right <laughs> run out of moisturizer it's a fucking nightmare moisturizer yeah whatever i'm using to pull my pud do you not have a dry one i change it up <coughs> moisturizer that's common is it? I don't, but it's common, yeah. Oh, mate, treat little Vinny to a little. <laughs> Honestly. Moisturise, I just grab it and make it angry. <laughs> Honestly. I just I just go for it. Yeah, so do I sometimes, but sometimes, yeah. Have don't you, you like slip baby, off the end? Have you used baby oil before? What? Don't you like slip off the end? <laughs> I've used baby oil and you do do that. I don't know if you know. You need purchase, don't you? Yeah. Are we are we literally gonna have a conversation about how to have a wank? <laughs> like, oh God, I just can't, I just can't keep on to it. Like teach it's us, a fucking teach, eel. Teach us a, a moist one, right? Well, on the lockdown locking that's coming up, <laughs> I'll, uh... baby oil is a good one, but it does get it all slippy. Baby oil is not great. It's very like it's it makes a mess. Oh yeah, it does. Millennium yeah. Lube's a bit more of a pro's choice. I've got a bottle of that. And I've never opened it. You know, when we first spoke about Millennium Lube like a thousand episodes ago. I ordered a bottle and I've never opened it. Right. For me. <laughs> next time. Next time you have a bit of insomnia, just click it up and, and then don't call me straight away. Slip Phone slipping out. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Dad! I feel alive! Honestly, it's like the difference between driving a fucking Vauxhall Nova and getting in a it's like Mercedes. Oh. What does it do though? What, what difference does it Makes do? it all shiny now. <laughs> Boy, you're going to enjoy that. Mm, does this feel weird look? in your ears, everybody? I'm telling you, that's a slipper kind of happy. A slippery. Oh, it's just good, isn't it? Does okay. it tingle it? No, lads. I'm, I can't believe I'm teaching you fucking <laughs> loop. It's just like if it's my birthday, I spit on my hand, but that's about as far as I go. Oh God, that's well, it's the, the less council thing. version of that. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? I'd rather. Yeah, because then your dick smells of like old saliva. And then I just go and wash it. Okay. Your hand. Listen, <laughs> I think you need a little journey of self discovery. <laughs> Honestly. I'm if you think that. he's in a good mood now, wait for the <laughs> next episode. Like that queen like. joke. <laughs> the hand. Oh, that's my favourite you know, joke of all him? time. Tell it properly, but this is my favourite hey. joke of all time. <laughs>
we'll we'll close off this <laughs> with this. I'm no, I still want another question. Oh no, I think I think I don't. Go on. Why doesn't the queen wave with this hand? Go on. It's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best joke ever. He <laughs> fell off his chair. <laughs> Adam, <laughs> it's on the fucking floor. That's the best joke ever written. <laughs> <laughs> See Adam Rowe live on tour, 2022. <laughs> Get your tickets. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, let's uh, let's have a break. And uh, we'll be back with our guest, Tony Carroll. Pod legend. TC. Yeah. Top cat. Tea time. Looking forward to it. See you in a bit, lids. <sighs> All right, lids. Hope you're enjoying today's episode. We are thrilled to announce that we are working with bettinggods.com. They're going to be sponsoring the podcast. If you enjoy online betting, get over to bettinggods.com. Dot com and you can get some great odds on all sorts of sports, horse racing, footy, they do cricket, tennis and golf, but this is the big one. You can get odds on hockey. So I know everyone that watches Have a Word is a massive hockey fan. Get some online odds for hockey at bettinggods.com. In all seriousness, we're really chuffed to be working with them. Go and have a look. bettinggods.com. Back to the episode. The lump's, hey. the lump's gone, but it's still in. Hey! It's a fucking catchphrase. Hey! hey. Welcome. Welcome. What are you fucking looking over there for? I have seen him allowed to talk. <laughs> 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 you don't know. You, you, I just yeah. wanted to know where Finn was from. Finn's from Rill. Oh, are you Finn? Yeah. Yeah. Via Istanbul. Is the sunset still open there? That must oh be the most God. popular question for anybody. <laughs> yeah. There's a sequel now, though. There's the Sun Center 2. It's very Is original. It really? Yeah, it's literally called Sun Center 2. So the water park and... In, water in, park's in, a bit of a fucking real. generous term, though, no, isn't it? Oh, it was a they oh, it's, did, it's, they it's, didn't rename it. They called it the Sun Centre 2. <laughs> they built another one down the road that's a bit more modern what and kind of though? a bit less noncy. So down the road, they've built that, and that's called SC2. Oh, God. Oh, shit. It's closed now because of COVID. <laughs> Just letting you know. So they have to it. close it, though, because there's bleach in the water, isn't there? So surely that kills all the COVID. Yeah, now. COVID can't swim. <laughs> hey, and you don't know that it can't, so you're wrong. Yes. And <laughs> hey, we've got Tony Carolyn. Hey. Hey. Mama like that. Mama like that. Yeah. Looking for love with Tony Carroll. He is Carole. looking for love. Always looking for love, guys. How are you? I'm okay. I just want to ask a question first. Before we start. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Not you, Dan, really. But, oh, no, well, cool, 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 cool. Adam, oh, I was just wondering. Hell. These have both got, like, the Scousers podcast in the world, right? Yeah. And I was just wondering why it's in real. Why it's I in mean, Runcorn? Not real, Runcorn. Because he lives in Chester. All right. So it's in the middle of both of us. Just went past the fucking town hall here in Runcorn. <laughs> Runcorn town hall. Yeah, seen Doc and Martin McFly outside the town hall. <laughs> <laughs> He wrote that on the way. Yeah! <laughs> Comedy! <laughs> and his little notebook. Yeah. I'll fucking say it was Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> he does that, didn't he? That's the the first new joke he's written since I've known him, you know? No. <laughs> I'm coming back this year, mate. You're coming back? Yeah. Great year to come back. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's more, more gigs than there are comics. There's, yeah. I don't know if you've been following anything on social media, but <laughs> just really. I haven't got slots. I didn't really follow it when I was doing it. No. I fucking couldn't stand anyone, to be honest. I think the last time us three were in a room together was when you booked us both to do Woody's. Do you remember that gig? Did you do Woody's? The little the little uh, karaoke, karaoke bar. Karaoke, karaoke bar. bar. Yeah, it was a night my granddad died. Yeah, <laughs> I remember it really well. I'm not. I'm not even joking. I just went. I had to be like, and uh, that's granddad dead, and off we go to Liverpool. <laughs> that was just that hundred was a weird, quid. That was a weird gig. That like, I yeah. was fucking doing stand up one minute and ten minutes later singing Mustang Sally. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean that's. What you used uh, to do anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, I used to just sit on stage anyway, didn't I? Oh, oh, oh Carl's in. Hello. Were you trying to be fucking subtle then? <laughs> 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 You're like creeping around as if like the three cameras. Watch, watch. So I've brought some gifts for you guys, right? Because I thought, you know, everyone's bringing gifts. So I thought Christmas has come late. Yeah. yeah. These yeah. better not be re gives. <laughs> Christmas you know, it. Oh, oh, I like it, doesn't it? Christmas. So I just decided, I thought I'd give them out first. <laughs> Get the gifts out the way, isn't it? That's probably the best thing. I got, I got stuff for 
Fucking hell, this is happening all the time even, now. It's quite, even it's Finn, I got you something. What? Yeah. I thought you didn't even know Finn existed. Yeah, no, but I've seen, always seen some kid behind car and I thought, <laughs> I can't leave him out. <laughs> but now I know your name, lad. I've got you something here, mate. Do you want to come and get it? Because it's going to be arse getting up, to be honest. <laughs> this right. is going to be a pack of beef, this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mate, it's got your crispy roll. There you go, mate. Milky Way crispy sick. roll. Yeah, I got Carl, oh, my good friend, and Orange Lucas here, because oh, I know you love them. He's been the garage on the way. I have. <laughs> what? Like Tony Carroll's giving Christmas presents <laughs> out, like a divorced dad. <laughs> I got I got Tan at a subway. Oh, that's, I, don't really. I got you guys something that I thought... This podcast was half shit before you started using my stories, so <laughs> I thought I got you something to hang on the wall. And no way. It's a pair of my granddad's oh! pants. <laughs> callback. Yes. That is that is that is a callback. Call a reveal. long time coming in it. it. So Episode so four. He doesn't so lost. want them back either because oh, you know he's not well at the moment. He's nearly dead. Tony. So, oh great. <laughs> Did. Well, did you on the way think of that joke and then think, shit, I haven't got Carl Not on, I'll give him my LucasAid? No, I actually... Would you got me a LucasAid? What a yeah. fucking lad. I, know. I got a fucking stain on him. A stain yeah. on him. He wasn't Authentic. Washed. Authentic. 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 I'm starting to wash them. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I want a fucking LucasAid. <laughs> He's kept hey, his he granddad. He had them before I come. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wrestle with him to get them off. He was going, Tony, you're not taking me pants. Again? I said, I fucking am. You're in this... Right, okay, look. A lot of our listeners yeah. are day one OGs. Yeah. What are you doing, Carl? Oh, yes, yeah, Sans. You're going. Um, you? you can just tell them to pull it down. <laughs> um, a lot of our listeners are day one. Yeah. Like, they've been here from the start. But, uh, you know, there's a chunk that aren't. I mean, statistically, it's impossible that there's all of them from the OG yeah. days. Yeah. There's a good chunk. But, but there'll be a I lot of people that have to haven't. recap. Yeah. What this is. So, do you, to, do you want to tell us why, in your own words, you have brought us a pair of your granddad's trousers? Well, <laughs> it's a long story, isn't it? It's been told before, but basically what happened was there was a, a comic that that used to be on the scene. Back Called like, Luke Montague. Luke Montague, yeah. And he was doing a corporate gig. I think it was for St. Alan's rugby team or something like that. But Yeah, one of the he, big ones. Yeah, massive. Um, yeah. And he said to me, he said if in to us while we were on a night out, wasn't it? Yeah, we were in envy. Night, yeah, you're in a night out. And I he need said, a suit. He was saying, like, he, he, was, he was asking, wasn't he? So we didn't really have any, like, much. So he just said, like, oh, I need to get a fucking suit, but I can't afford it, So I've just said, you you know, you can borrow me granddad's if you want. Like, it wasn't just like, <laughs> I live with me granddad's you suit. Know you, like, do. you know what I mean? You I know when someone says to you, I'm struggling financially, I can't afford clothes. Yeah, Your like, first thought is always. Yeah. I'm a nice guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know how to the goodness of my heart. But I mean, that's when you're starting out. And you're yeah. getting your first few gigs. It's shit like that you need to do, isn't it? Because yeah, look after each other. Because right? you've got a corporate gig when you're a new comic. It's not like you've got loads of suits yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, you're too, just yeah. being a yeah, good yeah, egg. Being, being a good guy. Um, so I give him my granddad's pants, uh, and he goes off and does it. And then a couple of weeks later, I wasn't really desperate for my granddad's pants back. He but, was, but my granddad, my granddad was like <laughs> fucking hell, Tony, where's my, where's my kex? So, so I said, I'll ask the last one pair at a time. I'll ask, in his house for two I'll weeks ask, in his the question, granddad. So. Next gig comes on a Sunday. We used to always do uh, hot water when I first started on a Sunday. It was like a quarter of us done it because yeah. there wasn't really many comedians. That the envy days. Yeah, the envy days, yeah. yeah. yeah rest in peace, oh, gee. Um So so I give him the kex. He he does the gig. A few weeks later, I say, yo, did you have a good gig? Where's my granddad's kex? <laughs> um, <laughs> he said, I've lost them. So I say, what do you mean you've lost them? So he, so he says... St. Helens Rugby Club's pretty rough. Yeah, he said, oh, I've been moving around and I've... I said, well, fucking fine, I'm like, you have to pay for it, well, do you like design a pants, so I'll design a suit. Were they, though? Were they British home stores? No, no, do design it, yeah. What yeah. designer? You lent him the full suit, didn't you? Because he gave you yeah, the jacket, gave jacket back. back. Sorry, yeah, yeah. What so designer was it, Tony? Can yeah. you remember? I can't remember, no, but no. it would have been... Good. Tom Ford, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A yeah. couple, of, couple of thousand Armani. pounds worth. Uh, yeah. A couple of thousand pounds oh, worth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. F and F. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's your granddad Pablo Escobar. What's going yeah, on? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so so he gives me the jacket back, and then he says he's lost the pants. So this is this is like a hurried up version of the story. Um, so I end, he ends up taking a piss of it. So I end up threatening him outside envy. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. For you, 
<laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. You know, how I'm did not... it? Can you can you can you remember how that yes, went down? I can't remember how that went down. <laughs> so Luke said. So everyone's queuing up to go into the comedy club. I'm outside having a ciggy, and Luke walks past. So I've seen him when he's been avoiding me. I've said, "Hey, where's me fucking granddad's kicks?" But like, there's people outside <laughs> queuing up. They're all sitting around like this, like what? Like, where, where this is, is going to be a very professional evening. <laughs> <laughs> where is his granddad's kex? These are thinking, you know what I mean? So Luke stops like that, freezes, and he goes, Oh, Tony, like, uh, f- f- fuck off. Like, that's what he used to do. Yeah. He has Tourette's. That's yeah. not, he's not just being a dick. <laughs> yeah. Luke Montague's so got Tourette's. He have Tourette's. Yeah, he does. So, so he. So he ended up saying, oh, no, I, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. He said, I'll find him, I'll find him. So then I've said to him, listen, lad, I said, you best next time I see you, you best have me granddad's pants or I'm going to punch your head in. That was it. You know what I mean? So, so he ends up... Very straightforward threat there. You know, yeah. there's only one There's only w- one solution. You live by the cold, you die by the cold. <laughs> <laughs> so a few weeks later, he's, he's on, the, on first and a gig or something or whatever, and I end up going down. It wasn't just for me, I wasn't going down for me granddad's kick, because I was obviously going down. <laughs> Comedy or whatever, and um, <laughs> he ends up just going there and leaves a bag with Adam and Paul. He says, "Oh, there's Tony's granddad's kicks, right?" Now my granddad's like a size like thirty two waist or something, yeah. And like he, it's this bag, <laughs> yeah. So so when I go when I go into the gig after he's gone, I go in. Adam goes, "Oh, Luke stopped your granddad's kicks off." So he's hand. So he opens it and the kicks were grey, right? These are black <laughs> at the start, right? So I thought, "What the fuck's this?" I opens them. And the waist's like that, like, I'm a big guy, yeah, and you you were bigger than me, right? And I'm talking like this, as that George, six pound kex, black with kex, still on them. With, with, with the, six the tag still on them, and I just thought, <laughs> what the fuck? And then, honest to God, I think, I've, yeah, I haven't seen him since. Has he, what's happened? Because I remember thinking this when we told the story on episode four, which <laughs> yeah. is nearly a year ago. Yeah. I remember thinking, what has happened? Has he... S- has he just? Has he lost them? No, you don't lose a no, pair of ten. pants. So there's, oh, bits, he, there's bits he's missed out there. Yeah. So what happened? Uh, this is my best memory of it. And <laughs> Are so, we all going to tell a story about my granddad's kex? <laughs> yeah, I've got one as well. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what I remember is he told you we'd lost them, and you were like, you come over to me and Paul, who were crying, laughing, and you were like, what do I even do about that lad? And we were like, you can't really do anything because you like you're like, well, if he's lo- if he's actually lost a pair of kex, you just can't get them back, like. He's not going to be able to match them to the fucking jacket. They're just gone. So you either make him pay for them or you don't. And you felt like our ass because you knew he had no money because he would have just bought a fucking suit in the first place. And then a couple of weeks later, he knew you weren't on and he come and did the gig in Envy in the pants. <laughs> and me and me and Paul... Did you know about this? No, me and Paul Smith took a... Took a oh, photo. look at no, Tony. No, he Smith. did. No, I, I'm, just, I'm just not happy now. So. Yeah, I, me and Paul Smith took a photo of... Luke and the kex and sent it to you and you were like <laughs> with, with the caption lad are these your granddad's kex I can't yeah. remember that and you were like keep him there yeah. and then he got off and then you were like right, you would spoke to him or like on the phone or whatever and you were like right get the fucking next I'm coming down next Sunday you better be there with me kex and he turned up at like fucking six o'clock and I'd been working in Envy for like the footy or whatever and he gave me the kex and just fucked off in a bag. And then when I gave you the bag later, you thought I was taking the piss of first because I handed you this bag. And there's these fucking enormous <laughs> size 43 inch waistos and six pounds still on it. And he, from that day, I've never seen Luke again. And he, he like deleted us all off Facebook yeah, and all that. that. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. By the way, for Jilly Bean, kecks or trousers yeah. <laughs> or pants. I think she got it with the visual. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to Tony, we're using kecks. But yeah. who owns the rights to the script? That's the question. When Hollywood comes fucking knocking. like Imagine after a movie. Yeah. Where's my granddad's kecks? Guy Ritchie. <laughs> really He's not edgy. playing me though. It's going to have to be someone fucking hard. Let me tell you that. Oh my Can god! John Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Can I play you? <laughs> um, John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, I reckon so. Rikishi, the wrestler. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Rikishi. Why is that? <laughs> Rikishi. I just remember one time Tony tagged me in a, a a photo on Facebook. It was of an action figure of a wrestler, and you were like doing one of my things, and then I tagged you in a Rikishi picture. It just came to me. Yeah, because yeah, you used to do that bit, and you we used to go uh, with your oh. hand. What was it? What was it? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh this will be a good game. What was it? Old now? bits that Adam's forgotten. Oh, I haven't oh, forgotten it. it. I know exactly what one he's on about. He's I was going to fucking batter it. Bottle of heart. Nah. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I used to go, no. I was gonna fuck a batter there, but I thought, nah, and he's this, 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 <laughs> yeah. this was a true, true story, but like not good stand up, but it worked. When you're starting out, yeah. none of it's fair, great stand up. We all had some terrible stuff. Like, it was, I heard two girls talking, one of them said, uh, I was gonna fucking batter there, but I thought, nah, I'll just get fingered by a fella instead. <laughs> On the back of the bus, one. yeah. <laughs> and I used to tell that story. And he he had an action figure of Ray Mysterio, the wrestler, and he bent like the hand into <laughs> the, the position. I used to do people's st- sets with action figures at home and just get them. Just, just get <laughs> and them you the did in, in the telling of the story, you did the hand like nah. <laughs> but I thought nah. <laughs> I'll, I'll just get, get fingered by a felon instead. <laughs> oh, you all know each other's <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, can we have one of your classics? Because you. Oh no. no no, no, my turn. My turn. Oh, yeah. Come on. See, this is like, because you don't do stand-up anymore, yeah. really. And when you do, you've come away from what you did at the start. Yeah. This is proper memory lane for me. And you won't have seen Tony too much when he starts now, because he didn't re- he didn't do much other than Envy and Bobby oh, Maddox right. gigs. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that you was Bobby, like, you like that, by the way. Yeah, you know him I mean? and Big, big Bobby. <laughs> um, I, I love Bobby. <laughs> so, Tony used to do a character. Tony's <laughs> character was uh, the, the, a victim of domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wouldn't play now, would it really? Yeah, so he'd go on stage. <laughs> as, as, a, as a bloke who's yeah. suffered domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> kind of ahead of your time on that one. I'm telling you. Do you know what happened Trying to redress well? the... Yeah, do you want to tell you what happened, right? Why I was half pissed off, and why I stopped doing the character, was because on, you know, Coronation Street... They robbed my set, right? I am convinced. I'm convinced, yeah, because like, I've done Beat the Frog a few times, yeah. So <laughs> I reckon I've done it on stage there and he's been like, like the right, writers, writers on a night out or something. Yeah. I thought, yeah, I'm going to steal that for the fucking Cody. And you know, remember Tyrone? Yeah. Of no. Coronation Street? I'm just saying, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tyrone. Yeah, yeah. No, Tyrone's a fucking Tyrone, like a yeah, legend, mate. He's, he's like a mechanic, like a little fat kid. He like works with Kevin Webster? Yeah, he's Kev's. Who? Yeah, he's Kev's. He works Kev's. Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he works with him. Did he? not like him. Mate. Kevin, are you having a laugh? Tony, hey. did he tell you? <laughs> I'm not doing it for Sophie. I'm not doing it for Rosie. It's his first time here. <laughs> <I'm just sorry. laughs> Tony, have you, has he told you to mention Coronation Street so he could get that out? Oh, right. Jesus Tyrone. Christ. So Tyrone. Fix that fucking car, bro. Tyrone's like Kevin Webster's apprentice, yeah. yeah. Some fat kid, yeah. And um, he, so he was getting domestically abused by his girlfriend, right? But Fizz. Molly? It was Molly? That nah, was Molly, wasn't oh, it? Yeah. That's not, that's I not don't watch it. Carl, lost Carl in the weeks. Carl just saw me. Just saw me. <laughs> Who was it? Years Fizzy. ago, I used to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, that, it's bad. You Don't get me wrong, like, I, I don't support any of that. Like, I'm not taking a piss out of it. <laughs> like, Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Tony Carroll would like to go on record to say he is not in favour of domestic no, violence. And I wasn't like, taking the piss out of I it when I did my character <laughs> at comedy clubs. I was actually trying to highlight the problem. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to raise awareness. Yeah. <laughs> no, so what I was doing, I was like me. I was my character was about thinking it was it was domestic abuse, but it wasn't. It was just silly stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I used to say, she she used to make me beans on toast with only one piece of toast <laughs> and get them themselves on stage, right? It was fucking genius, right? Well ahead of its time. I'm a victim. Now, so I just thought I own and the coordination seat writers stole my character. Now I now if you're watching this. I want to know if you did on yeah. the street. Yeah. What other lines from it were there? That's such a good line. Um, I, I remember just open them. I, used to used to me- I met her at the gym. I was on one treadmill. She was on another. Mine wasn't going. I was just standing <laughs> on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say she woke she woke me up in the middle of the night and screaming and shouting, where the fuck is my lighter? <laughs> the only problem is she doesn't even smoke. <laughs> <laughs> It was so good. I'm bringing the fat. Do you know what? Oh, I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> so you know what? Good. Like, literally, this this act, as ridiculous as it sounds right now, was like unfollowable. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he went on, it would just level the place and the next act on. It's just like the fucking gig's done. Oh. That, he that he that really a... made it believable. He went on because you he, you used to wear like a, you used to wear trousers and like a <laughs> shirt and tie. <laughs> He used to wear a pair of proper kecks, a belt, shit and tie. So he looked like some fucking accountant, suicidal yeah. accountant who's just come straight from work and just had things to get off his chest. About his... <laughs> Can you remember any of the other lines? Um, I don't think that was it. Is this like, 
What are we talking now? Eight eight years ago, you ten, lasted co- comedy. Ten, yeah, nine, ten. Not 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 like we last done it, but when did you? When did you? So so after I done a character for like a year or two years, it wasn't really about college. Just that was just a joke. So it, what happened was that it was I do I do it once one gig and like so when I was proper in character and, and the audience appreciated like what what I was trying to get across and I wasn't fucking a weirdo or you know what I mean? yeah yeah. Like it was fucking, it was good. Like, like I used to just absolutely tear it up. Yeah. <laughs> then the next gig, I die on my ass. And then the next gig, take the roof off. Next gig, die on my ass. And I thought it's just it's fucking my mind. Well, up you, here, you know because what I mean? it, because um, not to get too wanky about it, it's quite clever. It's quite a clever premise. Yeah. yeah. And if c- crowds are like, what? Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of British comedy now, because we our stuff is the mainstream. Yeah. It's very like this is me. Have you ever done this? I've done this, and crowds yeah, yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah. There is more complicated setups, and that's kind yeah, of yeah. it's kind of a more complicated setup. So if a crowd are like, "Well, that's not domestic violence," you're like, yeah. "I think you're the first person who's ever accused Tony of being too clever for the crowd." <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but that's... look at him sat there all happy with himself. Like, Damn, I'm half thinking I'm fucking intelligent. Tired now, no. I <laughs> but I think that's true, isn't it? It's yeah, not... I, th- I think that's what the problem, the biggest problem was. I couldn't get consistency with the act. Do you know what I mean? So I used to do my head in a lot. So. I just decided, like Adam and the lads, like after after gigs and I, when I've done that on stage, if you see me in a green room after it, it's just like who I am, just one of the lads, you know what I mean? Like I like just fucking taking the piss out of people. So I, they used to say to me, I'm naturally funny, like just being myself. But I, I think when I first started, I hid behind characters because I was st- still half scared to do comedy. So I thought if I die on my ass, I can just say blame that character, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not me, myself. So I think yeah. I was half scared starting. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting such a personal revelation. Well, you know, so I'm just spit, spit with facts and stuff. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you totally open up and you so and you yourself, you you're that, dying. Where, where aren't do you think that fear of exposing yourself comes from? Oh my god, Adam! Well, dude, Let me do it again. <laughs> Tony. One time when I was a kid, and, <laughs> and my uncle Ian come round. Oh god! <laughs> I'm joking. Um, How many slices of toast with you? <laughs> Was it beans? <laughs> he was done. It was I just beans! Just beans. Yes, yes. <laughs> I used to love you getting the one you getting tired up and bummed, that one. That was a funny yeah, that's, routine. That's probably me that's probably my best my best ever joke, I think. Oh, Carl's got none of this. You can't do and Carl, what was one of your bits from back <laughs> in the day? Because you were always just like, yeah, I'll help I'll help put it on. <laughs> yeah, I was f- fucking in Do you remember that seating plan that Carl did in 2011? <laughs> Table of 40 at the front. Fucking hell, so, so I think what happened was the, the, the final straw was the comedian year final, the hot water comedian <laughs> year final, when I lost to my arch nemesis, Adam Rowe. Oh, mate. That, so have, yeah. you seen, have you seen Karate Kid? Like Cobra Kai and that? That's what we are. We're, when, we're, when we're a bit older, we have kids. Yeah. Me and Adam are going to train to be stand-up comedians and they're going to meet in the final. Right. Yeah. So the the year the year he's talking Rowe. about <laughs> Fra- <Little> Vinny Rowe. <laughs> the 2010? Uh, no, it was Friday the sixth of November 2011. All oh right, Rain God, Man. Are you messing? All right. Are you messing? He's had it tattooed on his dick. Every time he, had Every time he gets hard, he remembers. Yeah, if, if I'm in town your and I place your on. hands by reef, I've got to leave that wherever I am. Tell him what you're like. Memory, what was your memories. walking song? What was my one? Yeah. It's how do I live by Liam Rhymes, wasn't it? Oh yeah. So he'd walk home to How Do I Live by Liam Rhymes and then pretend to be a victim of domestic violence. That's a great walk on <laughs> How do I get through a night without you? I just walk down like that. Everyone's got the, everyone else has got the Foo Fighters. Yeah, everyone's all amped up on that communion final. I'm walking down so everyone's like, what the fuck's this kid doing here? I had a stinker. But like, Finished we were that. all mates on that final. Yeah. Like, it was quite weird and quite insular and Hot Water was criticised at the time because it, it's such a scouse club and... All the finalists either lived in Liverpool or were Scousers, so it was me, Tony, Lewis Calvert. For Liverpool Comedian of the Year. Yeah. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, no, but, like, oh, yeah. but like everyone was allowed to enter. It just yeah, so happened that the Jay, finalists was full Jay of Scousers. Was didn't they? No. Uh, Dave Ernie was one. Kearney. Kearney. Yeah. And um, Dave Dave a lot of names that you don't need to know here. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't know them, it's not like you're. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, and maybe the, I'll Google some yeah, of these not, names. No, not yet. None of these. The, the, these are all like, they're not comics it's only, anymore. It's only Adam that's doing anything. Literally, it's yeah. It's only Adam that's doing The anything. fucking title went to the fucking right it's winner, you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking longevity, yeah. I could, I could have been sitting next to that now. <laughs> 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 if, only if I would have won that part. <laughs> I could have made yeah. COVID. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, but me and Tony were like good mates then and we were winding each other up and like, who's going to win? It was out of us too, to be fair, you know what I mean? Like, that everyone was like, say, 
after the club would be like, oh, Adam and Adam worked at Envy as well, so he had all like yeah. the staff there, and then all the, you know, like every Sunday before it, everyone was like, oh, Tony's going to win, or Adam's going to, and it was a big thing for us, you know what I mean? Because yeah. we didn't fucking. But have didn't else. some? Didn't one of your mates die or something on the day? What happened? Like no, what's uh, <laughs> fucking else? No, we didn't die. Um, <laughs> it was Ben. It was Ben. It was uh, he used to manage a football team, oh, and it was on because it was on the Sunday. I had a game on the Sunday morning. I could manage an open age team, but I was only like eighteen when I was the manager. Um, and my mate Ben got got like slide tackled, but his, the kid's foot went round his eye, and he went blind in one eye. I had to, so I was in the hospital with him because I was his manager. So I was only eighteen; he was only like a year younger than me. But his mum and dad were out uh, on holiday or somewhere, so he had no guardian. So I had to sit there all day in the hospital with him, and that's why I lost the community final. Working on your notes. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm glad that happened to him. Do you know what I mean? But like, you know, he's sound now, isn't he? No regrets. Yeah, he's all right now. He's just right at the time because the impact. He thought he was going to go. How can he see now? He's got like seventy percent. Oh, well, that's fine. Like, then. Yeah, I'm fine. fucking made oh, up. It yeah, happened, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it threw me off. Like, what's the cutoff where you feel bad? Yeah, all I lower than seventy. Win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so you did a few more years of stand up, and then you so, packed it in. No, so after that, that was the, the last the character act. I thought, fuck, right. you know, we'll leave that. Then I just started writing, just about about stuff and. And then I had a big influence off my granddad and, and stuff like that because obviously I live with him. That's when I talk about my granddad's kick, it's not like I go to my granddad's. You know what I mean? To Are you a kicks. granddad kid then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like a nan kid, but like a. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that bit of Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm weird as well, aren't I? I am, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, weird. Yeah. Yeah. Our granddad kids are even one up, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, so probably, yeah. That's yeah, really. No, he had a big influence, though, because he, he was performing back in the day and stuff like that. So I had, like. Was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he do, your granddad? My granddad was a singer, though. Wow. He was really yeah. good. Yeah. Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was a singer as well. Yeah, he was a singer. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Like that's another singer? Yeah, yeah that's a singer. Just give me a frame of reference. So my granddad had a big influence. You know, like, <laughs> what, like Erica Badu? Yeah. Yeah, because she's a singer, isn't she? Who? Erica Badu. Who's that? Oh. It's a singer. You don't know who Erica Badu is? Who's Erica Badu? Like your granddad. Go on. Erica oh. Badu. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he had a big influence on, on just on performance, stuff like that when I was younger and, you know, it's had a bit of acting before stand-up and stuff like that. But, um, so I got, so when I was writing stuff, it was like quite old jokes, but then I put a, like a twist on them and f- like new ones. So it wasn't like a hack, but it was like a semi- hack. It was semi- stolen. It was semi- <laughs> semi-hack stuff. <laughs> And then after then, that was just to it's get... ironic it. hack. I'm not I'm not ashamed to say it. And if anyone wants to fucking say anything... The cat it's... on the roof's the perfect example, isn't it? Yeah. The cat yeah. on the roof, Joe. Yeah, exactly. Well, Stuff on. like that. Yeah. I'm not going to say... Oh, come on. Oh, fucking shit. Come on. You, you can't say cat on the roof, up. Joe. It's a joke, Joe. Just do it. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a classic, isn't it? Go on. Yeah, um, what is it? Uh, you go on an Aldi and you have to look after her. Oh, yeah, my girlfriend asked me to mind the cat while she went on Aldi. And then... Um, and she asked me to mind the mum as well, an <laughs> elderly mum, while she was on holiday. And then she rings me and she says, Hi, babe, how's the cat? And I say, It's dead. She starts crying and I go, Oh, I'll do the phone call, whatever. And she's crying. And then she goes, Is it really dead? And then. I like, know the joke. So yeah. she rings up. Jesus, Tony, it's been a while, hasn't <laughs> it? The last thing is. She oh, rings I remember. Off. The joke goes, I mean, Your mum's dead. Hang on. I got nothing else. So he'd say, Me. Uh, oh no! I was my cat. Got on the roof. Got, it's dead. She goes, ah, "Is it dead?" Ah, <laughs> ah. And he go, "Yeah, it's dead." Ah. Oh, you didn't fucking have to say it like that, did you? How the fuck do you want me to say? It? Well, you could have been a bit more like kind about it. Put a bit of mystery in it. Say like it climbed up on the roof and died peacefully. Ah, ah. How's me mum? Well, she climbed up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it was. <laughs> Adam, you can have it, mate. You can have it. But that's not like he'd he'd talk like an old pub joke, yeah. and yeah, then yeah, he'd, yeah. he'd add a bit I'm, of acting to it. Yeah, yeah. Because he had no ambition to ever do any gigs yeah, on weekends really, or at water, yeah, and he didn't give a shit. Bothered, like it was just. But just you've got a following though. <laughs> yeah. Now, even now, you've got a following. Yeah. To be fair, I've got a really good following. To be honest, every time I go back on when I say like hot water, sort on a Tuesday when I'm just bored or something, I say, oh yeah, I'll just jump. Like the last one I done, there was like two hundred tickets free on a Tuesday. They was had, they had like not many in, and I just jumped on me and just fucking sold it out on a Tuesday. Like hundred and eighty people <laughs> he on <did>? a Tuesday. <laughs> he's not even messing. Like <laughs> so many of his mates and like yeah. like he's got like his little Tonys. Yeah, no, it's because you're known in town now, aren't you? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think it's just because they, they like to follow what, what what I do. I've got a quite a, a good a good name. You know what I mean? Like everything. And that's because of what? Because you quit stand up and went into. 
you work in nightclubs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. So you're a face, aren't you? Yeah. General manager of one of the most popular nightclubs in the city. Yes. Two Ink them. Bar. I'm 54. 54, yeah. Are working. you GM of Ink uh, 54? Yeah, well, I, I'm, 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 I would do both both now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, got, I've got a different role now, so work, work for 54 and Ink now. So. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, yeah so I've just... It's been a know. shite year for you, and it? It's been shite enough to stand up. It's been terrible. Like, You've got bricks yeah. and mortar to worry about. Yeah, it's been terrible. But, as I say, there's nothing we can do about it, is there? So we've just got to crack on. Um, there's no point in getting... We were just saying before, like, looking forward, <laughs> everyone's like, I think it could be all right, bye. And we've been doing it all year. Yeah. How is oh. it in your industry? Like, what? Because it's... Because we got to gig again. Yeah. We got to gig. We got to open, but fucking serving food and stuff like that when... Just, Which people love in a nightclub, don't they? Yeah, it's just... <laughs> it was just pointless, mate. It was Toasty just, when you're trying to bang someone. Yeah, it was just, it was just terrible, but... It, I didn't, we didn't want to damage the brand even and, and stuff like that, but in the end, because everyone else was doing it, you just have to just go along with it because we've got people in... I've got 40... St- when I was general manager of Inc., I've already just... just got this new role now but when I was there I had like 40 staff and they've all got families and stuff and you start worrying yourself because it's not just about you anymore it's about them as well so you know you're stressing about it but then you you, you get a message off the staff and glass collectors and stuff saying like on any, just, do you know when we're going to open again? I'm like, I'm yeah, not, let I'm, me just, I'm I'll just Boris. speak to Matt Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm the general manager of Inc. in yeah, Liverpool, yeah. so I'll get him on speed dial. <laughs> Matt, could you yeah. open up? We've got some glass collectors need some money. Yeah, so it, it was it was tough, but as I say, I've got that this approach, I think. I think what happened when I was a bit a bit younger, where the first few, I was going back for the stand-up thing, a few, and that's what I brought into the nightclub thing, that's why I'm a bit more confident, is because... When when I when I was younger doing the stand up and the character stuff, I was very insecure and like I was I was very shy. You wouldn't think so, but I was. And then one day I just woke up, yeah, and I thought I don't give a fuck anymore. It was weird. And ever since then, just, just was weird. there anything that happened the night before? There, do you have some DMT or? No. It no? was just honestly, like I can't explain it. I remember waking. I used to be dead self conscious and that though, didn't I? Like I used to. Oh, be, it's one of the best things you can ever honest, get to that point where you like. I just oh, went, I don't give a shit. But you know what, Dan? I used to, like, because you know, I've always been a big guy, I always thought, like, I used to wear, like, coats in the summer to, to think, like, it's going to hide the fact that I've got tits in a belly, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Stuff like that. And if it was on a lad's all day, I wouldn't get me T-shirt off and... <laughs> just wear a T-shirt in the pool, yeah. Yeah, like, and and, I, and then one day I just woke up, and I can remember it, and just woke up and thought, why am I asked? I, like, I don't give a fuck what people they think or say. Oh, it's a nice, and I'm, honest God, I've, a had nice the, the, hey, I've been such a best, well better person since then. Like now, I just take my top off in fucking town and that. Not even on holiday. Sitting there having a scan and I'm just like, shopping fuck in town. I just get yeah. this fucking top off. <laughs> I don't. Get they, those changing rooms open, love. Not even <laughs> asked, <laughs> mate. I'm not. I'm telling you again. Uh, you don't get your tits out in Wilco. <laughs> I shouldn't have to say it yeah, again. But and then like, like my fashion sense was terrible and stuff like that. And then I just started getting into more like. More expressing myself, you know what I mean? Oh my god, so you're a new take, woman. You did take your top off in Ibiza though for a specific reason. Do you remember? No. We went to Ibiza and we all did shots. Oh yeah. Oh. So oh. it was uh, a <clears throat> story. Cal. Ibiza September, hot, obviously. We're at the oh, pool. No. Uh all of us sweating like a motherfucker. And I think it was Jago uh, said, Oh, let's all do shots out of Tony's belly button. So we all poured Not apple... the shot glass this in is, belly button. This no, like, is Adam there? No, he didn't go. All oh, right. Okay. So we all poured apple schnapps into Tony's belly button and Sucked shot it out. out of it on a hot, sweaty, <laughs> Ibiza day. And all the girls around the pool went, <laughs> woo! <laughs> oh, I'm going to need some cleaner to dry this puppy down. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's got me sweaty in I all my places. What do you do if we brought Tony in one day for the lockdown lock-in? Would you do a shot out of his <laughs> Just get him. I spit. will. I'd convert to Islam <laughs> <laughs> before I did apple sours out of your fucking belly button. It's clean, that it's oh, fine. I would, have to, <laughs> I would have to be in full PPE. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I mean, in yeah. the. It's different, like. When it's a lad's holiday, this is why dickheads come back with broken legs in it. Yeah. Once the uh, once like no, we should do it. You don't want to be the one going. I think that's unhygienic. That's not the that's yeah. not the chat, oh, is it? You then? We were about nineteen, wasn't we? Um, nineteen, twenty, maybe. Yeah, about nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> did you do but, it? But, did you all, did you just lie there? Did you, you do one? Yeah. yeah. Is this the video do you know, of it? Do you know lay on the side on of the, the pool? on the holiday though, and when you, and when you go on holiday when younger, you just it's just like the shit that you do, and then when you're old and you go on holiday and you think. 
why, why, why would I even do that? You know what I mean? Like me and Carl, fucking hell, mate. Oh yeah, and if you and Carl went on holiday now, you'd just be sat there with a pint of shandy yeah, for a week, wouldn't you? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, we share the room, me and Tony. So yeah, yeah, it wasn't good. Like, can I be there? Yeah, and then you get to where I am in life, where you're like, I just want to, Tony, can I, can we go on holiday? Like, because <laughs> I've gone so far beyond that now, I'd love to get into that shit. When you were like, I'm a general manager of a club, in my head I was like, can we go? Yeah. Can I come? Oh. Absolute granddad in this room. Hey, I'm VIP. I, I, know, I know Tony. Cannot wait to take you to Ink Bar when it's over. Hey, I'm yeah. not joking. Oh, you'll have a good night. Hey, I want to live. Good night, you know, you'll have a good night. Honestly, it's I'm going to be like boss. a fucking debutant. I am. Um, we I, get looked after in that. I threw a KFC cup, didn't I? For six miles on that. Oh, mate. I can't <laughs> believe this, right? So Top in, floor. In Ibiza, we share a room, and me and Carl are bladder one night. We're, costing, no, we're for facing the hotel, which is mad, is a daycare centre. <laughs> like with Kids. toddlers. Yeah. Okay. And Good choice. For, bre- <laughs> for breakfast that morning, we had to grab like loads of fruit. <laughs> so we were throwing oranges at toddlers. <laughs> Why did you tell him you want that? Jesus From the top Christ. floor of the hotel. <laughs> could have killed him. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> they were like cannons. How many, how many young people have to be blinded in your stories? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking and li- then, little Jose with like, oranges like, oranges a toddler. Citric acid. Any pears, it could have been anything. We were throwing fruit oh. at a toddler. <laughs> Not like little objects <laughs> from a distance, it, though. In in the end, at, the, at dinner and stuff, we were looking for, like, we going, lad, like, that yoghurt will be all right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we were eyeing up things in the canteen you to throw off the roof. fucking animal. Our kids, but right? l- That night, we came back fucked. In, I say night, it's probably about 8 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. And there was Manx at the, um, at the, on the ground floor. Shout out to all our Manx listeners. He was singing like, no hate. singing like England songs singing, and that, yeah. wasn't he? And we were like, fucking shut up, you little man. And he was like, are you scouse bastards? <laughs> and I threw a KFC cup full of coke. Well, have it. you seen the cups over in, on holiday when you go to like KFC? Like they're that big, that yeah. like this big, right? A bucket. They're like this. Right? <laughs> no, literally. Carl, from the top of a hotel, <laughs> top floor, I hit the kid in the back of the head. And I mean, <laughs> across the road. Dan, no, he was Adam, like on the same is, side. Oh. Two miles the shot, right? <laughs> it's at least two miles. I mean, gravity did a lot of the work. Have you seen American Sniper? She <laughs> based on that. <laughs> so Carl gets this cup, and he goes, fuck off, yeah? And you just watch it, and you just see it, and you know it's going to hit him. <laughs> and it goes, fuck off. Well, he's just The kid. cup, like, lands like this, and the whole drink just goes. <laughs> and he goes... You fucking scouse bastards. <laughs> hey, he picks up a rock, right? And not me, goes, not me, the fella. The yeah. fella goes to throw it at us. But we're miles <laughs> And he throws it and it comes back down. Like, well, if he can get a cup down here, yeah. I can get a rock up yeah. there. It, Same distance. It comes down, hits him on the head. He's trying to get the one. Don't you scouse pricks? I'm fuck, honestly, I'm in, I'm in Did bits. they find you? No. no. It was, uh, we, uh, they must have come looking. Probably, but yeah. that that hotel's famous. It's called Pixis Park. Have you heard of it? Pikey Park. It's called Pikey Park. Yeah. What? It's like 20 quid it's for It's like week. the cheapest hotel in Ibiza. And they call it Pikey and Park. And that's where like Spanish Tales. parents think, <laughs> I'm going to get my I'm gonna get my kid in nursery yeah. across the road. That's why we threw objects at them. Yeah. <laughs> so the parents had moved them out it's of there. It's infamous. It's the best spot because it's the egg in Ibiza. Yeah. It's the hotel next to that. So it's the best spot, it's the worst hotel. It's 20 quid a week. But you come back and you, your bedroom, your door would just be open. Someone would just booted it in. <laughs> right. So, so yeah, pass, to, passport and money. We had to hide it you. in the lights. Me and, Carl, the lights off the wall. Me, me and Carl booted someone's door in. There was five <laughs> fellas and they're all sniffing gear. What? All like that. I went shit and we had to run. He chased us. <laughs> wow. Wow. Talk about picking the wrong door. Yeah. <laughs> Carl said, said no, because someone put Carl said, as if there's some fellas they coked up like that. What? I went, oh, shit. We someone kicked off. that door open, so I was like, fuck that, I'm going to kick someone else's door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, One all. <laughs> but you had to hide your possessions. Could you imagine if a family books that just accidentally? It might have happened. Yeah, definitely happened. Where they're just like, it's cheap, and, you know, we've had a hard year at work. <laughs> and then you animals are Who's throwing taking fucking... their children to Ibiza anyway? I mean, it's about, 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 yeah, about yeah, Ibiza's not just clubbing yeah, and team, kids. Yeah. Up a nice it's, side as well. Yeah, Ibiza Town's like beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that no, that's just not for me. That I went to Ibiza when I was a kid. Yeah. When I was like, is a on a yeah. You did I mean, pills when you were nine, no way. Yeah, you? I was there, yeah. <laughs> seven years old. My parents knew what I was into. <laughs> um, Got him a glow stick for his birthday. Good God, <laughs> I've never went to Ibiza in my here dear. 
I've only been to Ibiza. Going before, this so year. I'm going again. This All year. things being well. Yes. Yeah. Looking forward to that one. You don't think it's going to happen, do you? September. I think. It oh will. no, 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 no! I'm not saying that. I just feel Back like to, uh, I just want to hear a story of like when Adam comes back. I took a pill in Ibiza. I wouldn't take a pill. <laughs> I know you keep saying this. Yeah. But you're not in Ibiza. You're in Runcorn right now. <laughs> it's, e- it's easy in a studio in Runcorn to be like, I'm going to take a pill. Dan's when right you're like, bam, 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 bam. There's some hot girl like, oh, Go, do you want this? You're this? Like, yeah. No. No, I wouldn't do it in Runcorn. I'm not doing it here, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a fucking apple sours <laughs> from Tony's belly. <laughs> Tony! <laughs> Tony, I need you! <laughs> Go away! Throw his satsumas at her. When do you reckon he's going to open them? <sighs> Have you been I'm, told any, like... I'm just hoping we get, like, the races. And I said that last year. April. Because he said two weeks in March. I said, I hope we get the races. I'm saying again this year, a year later. Yeah. Because a big... Th- from April onwards, it's a good time. The club's January, February. March picks up a bit. But from April, the races, that's when it goes full tilt. Well, but, if... Um, even if you're spacing open, please, can I... I know I've got a child due late April, but if I can squeeze in a night out in and around <laughs> we'll there. Go and wet yeah. the baby's head. We'll wet his yes. head. That is what all new mums want. Go and wet the baby's head. Are you going the local? <laughs> no, I'm going to a major club in Liverpool City Centre <laughs> with a bunch of fucking lids. It's hip, <laughs> it's hip hop and R&B yeah. as well. What, you wear, what yeah, trousers are you wearing? Like... Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> What's that stain? It's a good call back. <laughs> well, I, reckon you'd like, I reckon you'd like 54 more though. It's like, I like 54. When we like, went a couple like, weeks ago. Like, like the like disco music and how no, I think you'd like disc- I, disco I think you'd like him more. All right, well, yeah, I think you'd like him more. Can I we, like Fifty Four though. Yeah. Can we genuinely? Yeah. Client, I'm j- not joking. Some point this year, yeah, I want to feel. Oh, Dan, when we're allowed to go out, we're going. Right, out. all yeah. right. Next, it, later in the year, if there's a live show, and then we can go out. If there's that's the place to go, in there. Oh yeah, oh. I have a table booked. Yes. Shall we have a little uh, a breaky interval and interval do some features? Okay. Enjoy the advert. From the money cunts. Stop. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Today's episode is brought to you by Supreme CBD. Now, CBD oil's got so many uses. It's good for your mental health. It can help you sleep. It's really good for your skin. There's so many uses for this, and a lot of people are starting to use this and feel a lot better about their lives. We've got a 30% off code for our listeners. The promo code is WORD, W-O-R-D. You can go to Supreme CBD. Dot UK, you can get some oil. They come in gummy bear form. There's loads. It's dead good. We love this company. They're here on board with us. Go and support them. And let's get back to the podcast. And we're back. All right? You okay? Yes, I'm fine. Slightly different position. Yeah. For, we've just had a little manoeuvre of Tony. You want to see his face? It's important. Tom Tanner says, if you could have the set of any game show down the years in your house, which one would it be? Question. I'd have to go for Total Wipeout. <laughs> not a game show, is it? Well, well, it he, it's a TV show where people run around and shit. It's kind of a game show, isn't it? That's what he means, it's isn't it? He's castle, then. <laughs> yeah. I'd be fucking boss, that. Might be the chase, because I look like fucking Mark Labet. <laughs> you just sit... <laughs> you just watch me TV just, me just, on the top of a massive... Me, me just, <laughs> <laughs> Granddad! <laughs> I'm, 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 me just sitting at the top of the stairs, like that. I just that anyway. The beast, what a guy. When I was a kid, I used to, on my own, pretend I was Mufasa on the stairs playing Lion King, and then I'd throw myself off. The cube would be bossed though, wouldn't it? Fuck Do yeah. the whole fucking yeah. script. Hey, oh. the cube would be great. Yeah, it's a big glass thing. a big cube in your house, and you could fuck Phil Schofield in a break. <laughs> hey, it's you, the like. middle of winter, and I've got a toddler. Anything <laughs> like... Anything like Total Wipeout would be fucking amazing, like a safer version of it. Yeah. Oh, I feel for her, like, just, like, just in the house again. Everything's fucking freezing. It'd be great if we had, like, a proper soft playroom. If you just jammed in everything from a kid's TV show. Oh, oh 50-50. Remember that? 50-50? Yeah, it was on um, BBC after school, when we went to school. And it was two schools versus each other. And you oh, do yeah. all, like, soft play shit like that. It's fucking boss. So I, um, I want to do tip and point. I love those two P machines at the fair. <laughs> what? You seen Tipper Point? Yeah. It's like the two P machines, isn't it? There's I a, t- a two P machine. There's a TV. Sh- there's a TV. 
<laughs> Could you imagine how budget that would be? You know, when people get rich and they get like Street Fighter 2 or something like the console <laughs> game. If Adam in his game room had a fucking 2P machine where every night he'd win and then have to like put the 2Ps out so they're balancing. You know what we did to play that? When we used to, we used to it was the f person to get rid of their 2Ps one. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the thing, yeah. Because you'd win shit and be like, fuck's sake, you can have to get rid of it that quick. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. Because you'd, you'd win like 4p. It wasn't really our money. The game for us was that. Get rid of them all. Get rid of your coins first wins. I I've, I get weird about the 2p machines. I just get it in my head that once, you know, you walk around the 2p machines, you've got like a pound of 2p's and then you're like, right, that one looks like it's ready to drop. As soon as I put that. They're all super glued on, mate. It's all a fucking rigged game. As soon as I put that first 2P in, I then can't leave that machine. Yeah. Because my worst nightmare is That's how they get putting you. fucking 80 pence of 2Ps Hundreds in. Hundreds of millions of pounds every year are spent on those machines. Hundreds of millions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Hundreds, Hundreds of millions every year. Fucking Ask pathetic. fucking Finn. Real, real knows. That's how Rail's built. I just get, I Real just get is one, built on <laughs> stolen two peas because they fucking get you in because they, the they have them all the world. exactly. They have them all hanging over the edge. How do you think they played for fucking Some SC2? Yeah. That's what I mean. They've got their own bank. Hundreds yeah. of millions every I year. I mean, if you want to take it, I've seen a documentary about it on YouTube. It's, if you want to withdraw, it's a bit of a ball like because it's Real, in two peas. Real, Real's but. one of the only four country, one of the four places in the whole world, right? That the banks aren't run by the Rothschilds. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, run yeah, by yeah. the Sun Centre, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Sun Centre. So Wales Wales Bank. Has Wales got a mafia? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking budget mafia. Atlantic <laughs> City with the Sopranos and then Rill's got like... <laughs> the nearest thing you guys are talking about is a guy called Les Harker. He owns the whole, oh! the whole front Whoa, in Rill. Don't oh, name him, lad! <laughs> <laughs> Don't name him! <laughs> For the Hark dog! The Hark eye! <laughs> Les Harker? Yeah, he's he, Mate, you he owns are, the front. You're in fucking trouble now, yeah. son. Yeah. Oh, my he's, uh, God. He's, he's quite old now, so I think where I'll you be going right. Les, you son, fucking son, shit house, yeah? Where, where you Stop robbing the two peas, you robbing cunt. I need to get one of them myself, one of them daughters, mate. Marrying some money, innit? There's a fucking... You listening, Les, yeah? There's Les. I'm coming for you, yeah. lad. I'm coming for all your two peas, all your ten peas. <laughs> he's a pensioner that owns some amusements in real. Fucking <laughs> lad. Why are you so angry about the 2P machines if you just decided to be? What? Oh. <laughs> I'd have Countdown because Rachel Riley's attractive. Yeah, yeah, you don't get Rachel she's Riley. Hours, That's not part of the thing. Tory, yeah. Tory, if right. you could have any game show and the host, it's a weird. It's more of a hostage situation, isn't it? I like Rachel Riley in the or dining room. Field. She's like, when can I go and see my family? You're ah, like, if we're getting the host as well, then I want um, Pointless because Richard Osman knows everything. Yeah. You can just have him there and just I just questions. really want Philip Schofield in my house. <laughs> <laughs> He'd ruin you. Oh, I'd love to bum Philip Schofield. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to, to see know. it. I don't know. What an awful image. What? what I don't awful. think it's awful, Adam, is it? Why? I think it'd be It's the allies. love between one of your friends I just, and a famous I, British TV I presenter. I wouldn't just bum Philip Schofield and leg him. I'd actually like get oh, with him. You know what I mean? Oh. Get to know him. I'd would, make you, love would you have sex with a man? I'd would you ever try it? I would make love. <laughs> How have we got here? I, I wouldn't just fuck him. I wouldn't just like bum him like hard. You're looking. I'd make love to <laughs> Philip Schofield. If you watch him, Phil. Uh, Philip, please. <laughs> just answer me single. DMs. I keep messaging you and you're not reading them. Uh, you know when just Philip answer. Schofield came out as gay, do you reckon it was after Tony Carroll? <laughs> I was like, this not yet. <laughs> I can finally bum Phil Schofield. Do you know he, he asked Lana Del Rey to marry him that much on Twitter? She followed She followed him. me on Twitter, you know. <laughs> Lana I've Del Rey. What, I've a, been, I've, what a combo. I've been doing the scenes with Phil. And he just won't answer. You are looking for love though, aren't you? I am looking for love, yes. Yeah, when was the last time you were uh, pound and puss? Jesus. <laughs> you asked him if he was shagging man five seconds ago. <laughs> And then puss. It's only been a few weeks. Yeah. But I mean, I want, I want love though. I want the fairy tale. You know what I mean? And the fairy tale. Yeah. So what are you looking for in a woman? Or TV presenter? <laughs> <laughs> if Phil, if Phil doesn't get back to me, right? Now, nah, um, what am I looking for a woman? Someone who's someone who's um, trustworthy. Because I'm gonna have an empire soon. I don't want her to like fuck me over. You know what I mean? I want her to. Hello, we want prenup. We want prenup. Exactly. Right? Would you so, make a sign a prino? Um, no, she's just got to. You be able to. She's got to be able to trust people, haven't you? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's got to be trustworthy. She's got to be. 
It's trying to be funny. That's it, really. Over six foot. No, like like small, like small. Yeah, let's be honest. Yeah. So a so trustworthy midget. Room, basically. Basically. You can get lashed round the room. I want us to be small and trustworthy. Small like a fucking <laughs> goblin from <laughs> from Gringotts. <laughs> <laughs> you can trust her with your money, <laughs> she's <time. laughs> Mr. Carroll's room is this way. If there was yeah. a woman, right, yeah. who was really trustworthy, and you like you'd seen a po- picture of her on yeah. the internet, and like she looked fucking stunning, yeah. But then you met her, and she was seven foot. <laughs> yeah. Would you still go out with her? Well, yeah, is trustworthiness that's... like does that outweigh the height, or does the height <laughs> outweigh? Like, would you rather have well, still, a well, lion still, midget I still want a or a really t- trustworthy basketball well, player? I still run a football team, don't I? I'm looking for a centre back, so she yeah. can play centre half for me. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, but which would you rather be with, like long term, really tall, yeah, and trustworthy, or a lion little dwarf? A, a really tall, trustworthy person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would you rather be? With? Height's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's quite a se- it's quite a sexist thing that, like, women want tall women men. want tall men. Yeah. Total generalization, but traditionally, and then women and then men do not want women that are loads taller. About this. Apparently, men want small women. Because they uh, want to be able to control them, and women want tall men because they want to be controlled. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying it was on Twitter, and the person who posted it. And no one lies was on a tall Twitter. Black woman. So no, no one no lies on Twitter. No one. Lies on we've already Twitter. proved that. Just Philip Schofield. Yeah, he's Philip Schofield. How tall is Philip Schofield? Five nine. Should you have a look? Should you have a look for us. Think you, you put, Google how tall Philip Schofield. I never thought of that question. Schofield, like, has got a like a clean. Backside area because he is gay and he generally like keeps it neat. Or you're a bit obsessed with people's clean bums. Since Starting to think since, about it more since we've shaved Brennan's uh, bum. Mm. On the, you've mentioned clean bums a lot. Mm. Is everything what's what's getting? <clears throat> is Manscaped not brought out the bum eater or whatever? <laughs> I just I, I'm just like I'm, I'm gonna have to work on the name of that. <laughs> like you know, I just I'm sort mm. of wondering how many men. Have some anal hygiene re- regime, but what's making this? I don't really know where it's come from. Yeah, I just think you know, just if you you know, like if it's really hairy, it's not very cleanly, is it? Like there's gonna be still be poo particles on there when you. Uh, Philip Schofield's five eleven. Five eleven, same wow. size as me. So oh, you five eleven, yeah. yeah. The, the kissing will be perfect. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Connor Mudge says, if you could live one day in the life of any comedian. Who would it be and why? You get to live one day in the life. I mean, waking up in his or her his family home is going to be weird, but then performing as them, oh, although you're not going to know they're set, so it's going to get weird pretty quick. I'm, I'm happy. Do you wake up and like you not, you're... <laughs> if that's such a psycho answer. <laughs> Can he be dead? Yeah, but that's just a cape, isn't it? You just want to rest. <laughs> no, can, they, can the comedian Well, be I dead suppose now, it's or? a hypothetical. You could choose yeah. when and who. I reckon Bernie Mac would have been good. Yeah. Oh, my God. When he was doing the King of Comedy Tour. Oh, so good. Or man. to do the Def Jam. The problem is, though, yeah. you've got to be able to go out as Bernie Mac and do... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you, yeah, go out going, you mean, yeah. if you go out as Bernie Mac and I then you have your accent yeah. and go, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a victim of uh, domestic, <laughs> domestic abuse. <laughs> <Bernie> show, <laughs> show me, mate. <laughs> Looks so weird, that one. <laughs> I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. <laughs> no, I think I'm uh, big bones. A day in the life of is you. You are them, aren't you? You, you, you experience what they experience. Yeah. Be nice to have a big chopper as well. <laughs> you got a big willy. Me, mm. uh, just average. It is. Mm. Uh, dude, that was the Phil Schofield. Oh <laughs> We're gonna get a cease and desist order from we are. Schofield's I mean, lawyers. I really want them to just message me back. Yeah. <sighs> I go Kevin Hart. Why? Really, yeah. <laughs> Let's just think. I don't know if I'm ever playing arenas. So, is he? Is he? A, do you think he's the best of the arenas? Do you think he's the arena goat? The arena goat. I don't. His life looks pretty good, though. If you're doing genuinely, whose life do you want to have a, a live for one day? You're not just going to pick a circuit comic to to live your day, aren't you? Like in theory, you'd go bigger, yeah. wouldn't you? Go Bill Burr to see. No, Lee, Ev- Lee Evans would be mad, wouldn't he? You'd be fucking sweating and all that. Maybe not. I would go smaller. I'd go like, you know, just to remind myself where I've come from. 
<laughs> he's gone in a weird mood. Uh, <laughs> I had to go Joe Rogan and just go on. <laughs> and he'd be like, okay, last minute change of guests. We've got Tony Carroll on. <laughs> and Jamie would be like, I can't really find any information about it. I'd be like, don't worry about it. And so, so there'd be 9 million people watching Joe Rogan interview What's Tony Carroll going, tell me about... <laughs> What's your obsession with Philip Schofield? <laughs> <laughs> and who is that? And then, and then it'll definitely get back to him. Yeah. Uh, would you rather from Dan? How are we? Andrew, Donald, Karimba and Fuembe. Question is, would you rather never eat bacon ever again? The other one. Or every time you do, Purple Aki comes over <laughs> and asks for a piece and gives your bicep a squeeze? That one. Bacon's yeah. overrated. Bacon's not overrated and you're a fucking paedophile. No, it is. People like bacon because everyone says it's great. Just no, saying. it's not true. It's the best thing in the world. No. It, it is. depends what it's with. I can't mm. just have bacon on its own. Bacon you sandwich. Have, you have to have it with something. It's either, it's, either, it's got to be sausage or an egg, hasn't it? You can't no, just be on a bacon a, sandwich on its own. Sausage. Sausage. I do. I like a bacon. bacon. I like a bacon. I'm not saying it's not say. nice, but I'm I've, saying people act like it's fucking... There delicious. isn't anything better. I, I like nothing better. Nothing. What about lamb? nothing that bacon doesn't improve. What about lamb? Bacon's better. Bacon doesn't improve. Cornflakes. Cornflakes and bacon. Oh, you've been <laughs> fucking tethered there, haven't you? No, I haven't. Bacon Vaseline. will improve it. What? Vaseline. Vaseline. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking other things, Carl. <laughs> Toothpaste. <laughs> Vaseline. Vaseline. Yeah. Any What's other a, food? What, There's uh, no food that isn't improved by bacon's presence. <laughs> including, like, yogurt. Lemon drizzle bangers. cake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird one to... to what would you go? Bacon or purple ackee? If, if anyone doesn't know... This is a bit of a Scouse legend, isn't it, Purple Aki? Yeah. He's a horrible man, like. Yeah. Just I tried to take a photo of him once at uh, Manchester Piccadilly train station, and he caught me and come over and threatened me. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> is he in Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah. He allegedly caused the death of a, a, a child as well when he ran away from him and ran into the train. Yeah, ran into the train track, yeah. Well, everyone deserves a, everyone deserves a second chance. Got found chance, not guilty, they? just saying. Got found not guilty. Everyone deserves a second chance. This podcast has taken some <laughs> fucking oh, with the Urga Muslims. Whoop! <laughs> Throwing fruit at put nursery children. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he did kill a child though. Right, I'll move on then, Carl. Thanks for that. Nah, everyone, Let me just delete that. Everyone one. deserves a second chance, so I'll probably go with purple and I'll probably try and talk some sense into him. Yeah. And say leave the fucking kids alone, lad. You know what I mean? Right. He's a sex offender. Yeah. I'd probably say to him, like, just, just stop fucking grabbing kids' cocks and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> did he actually did he actually grab kids' cock? No, he makes like men like do press ups and the man is back and he grabs him and like just Yeah, he get I think he gets right, can you just there's two I talk to a non scouser. I need to know right. without all these weird right. like urban okay, myths. Okay, I'll say the truth, Dan. Right? What's who is Purple right, Aki? Purple Aki, right, is a guy who gets sexually aroused. Who he lives in Liverpool. He lives yeah. In, yeah, he lives, he's known around Liverpool. He, every, everyone Wiley had a be his name is. Yeah, everyone in Liverpool knows who Purple Aki is, right? Now he gets aroused, sexually aroused off off men's muscles, right, and touching them. You know, people have weird fetishes. You know, you right. might have some yourself, Dan. I don't know, but I've got a few. Yeah, yeah. So his like weird gang bangs. <laughs> his, <what? laughs> his, his weird fetishes is, is men's muscles and and sque and squeezing them and touching them and sw like sweaty you know you know big like muscly men that's that's what it is but when you were little you were threatened like oh if you do that purple he'll come and get you yeah, yeah. i got told if you said purple Aki three times in the bathroom he turns up in your shed if you ever Bums need you. proof that liverpool is its own little country <laughs> there's no bogeyman there's purple Aki. <laughs> he is. And he's real though. Well, he's he was peg leg as well, wasn't he? In Colomendi when you used to go to Colomendi. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Tony. Oh, have you? We just, told, on we the, just on the latest about on the Patreon, Patreon episode. Oh. So if you're not already a patron, you've missed out on this chat. Yeah, Patreon.com slash have a weird pod. Lad, the legend was that peg leg was going to get you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wrote peg leg's going to get you in one of the wardrobes and had to clean all the wardrobes because I got caught by the teacher. Yeah, that was scary that time. Times, you know, mate, when, you, when you're in Colomendi <laughs> and. And you didn't like a dorm with that all your mates from school, and someone goes fucking peg legs on his way, and you like we went hell. to the Louvre, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Paris, <laughs> very different educational experience. Yeah, yeah, but you're not that far away from us, either. You know what I mean? I thought you might have caught up on some of our lingo. Preston, yeah, it's not that far. No, it's not. I just lived off Liverpool Road in do you, Preston. Do you think someone from the outside then, or yourself? Do you think? Do you know when people take the piss out of me when I say pool? And I was like, oh, pool. I get, it's the, you can tell we're pool. 
Hill. Do you think we're School. Do you think we're different? Because we, we, we know we are different. Liv- mate, come on. Yeah. You're old the- Lancashire. Liverpool's old Lancashire. Yeah, yeah. But Liverpool is so different from where I grew up. And I grew up driving on the old Liverpool road. You're in, ta- you're in Liverpool in 40 minutes, yeah, 35 yeah. minutes. I, I, it could not be more different. Yeah. Like, if people don't know the northwest of England, Manchester, Liverpool are the main cities. But I'm I'm from a town that basically forms a triangle, like, with yeah. Liv- Liverpool and Manchester and then Preston. And that drive towards Manchester, yeah, of course, it's like, it's a different part of the northwest. Yeah. But you're basically going into the bigger version of you. So Preston, into Bolton, into Manchester... And then you go the other way and it goes Preston into, all right. <laughs> you basically go past some nanas in Southport yeah. and then everything changes. It's a big difference, I think. Like what it's do you totally have to culturally. Have to though, because Manchester people are similar to us, but we're totally better. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what's, what's the difference? We're nothing to do with Manchester. Preston's nothing to do with Manchester. No, I'm saying, why do you think that is? We're different, though, that, like the big cities. Like, but then again, Liverpool, it, do, do you think it's like because of a generation thing where because people like haven't got money and stuff like that? Do you think that's what it is? That I, think, like, I think a big part culture. of it is that Liverpool has got a strong Irish heritage. Yeah. It's very, very scouse. Like, most people in Liverpool are scousers. There's not many outsiders who come to live there and not many people leave. Yeah. So Manchester's people... got a big Irish population yeah, 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 as well, yeah, but yeah. it's not the same. Thinking... Yeah, but Manchester's also more of a metropolis, isn't it? There's more people like from other places that live in Manchester and have sort of... Yeah. like Liverpool tends to be like fourth, fifth, sixth generation of living in Liverpool. Manchester's not necessarily like that. The, t- the, the weird thing is with Manchester and Liverpool, they're totally part of the same thing. Because yeah. without one, the other didn't get rich in the Industrial Revolution. They needed each other. One was the port and one was the fucking factory and mills and everything, yeah. wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I'm from like shitty Preston. Where if you, when I was starting out in comedy, when I uh, gigged in Liverpool for the first time, Liverpool loves taking the piss out of Preston. You're fucking William Atten. <laughs> and you do, you feel it. Like yeah. you get there and like Liverpool just sees us like this slightly like, oh, yeah, I'm from Preston. I've come down the road and you've got big buildings. <laughs> There's like five <laughs> floors of buildings and you've got a travel lodge. Like, <laughs> that's how it yeah. feels as a Prestonian coming to Liverpool. You're like, you can tell everyone's like, fucking nab. Yeah. I love it though, man. I, I really fell out of love with Liverpool. Have you, has your opinion changed then since you've met? Since yeah, yeah. hot water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's changed yeah. my opinion of Liverpool. L- Laura takes the piss out of me because when we met, I was ready to give up on Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm not talking as a city. I'm talking because the only... As a cont- comedy place. As a comedy place. Because yeah. I my love of it had been ground down gradually by gigs that I didn't enjoy. Rawhide was there. It disappeared into the ether after yeah. a few efforts. And then Baby Blue was down at the Albert Dock. Yeah, this is when bo- I met you 10 years well, ago. Yeah, but it got worse and yeah. worse and worse. And my experience of gigging in Liverpool was just... It's the same. We were just talking about another city that I don't particularly look forward to gigging in. It's because of the gig, isn't it? Yeah. It's because of who runs it, yeah, how exactly, it's run. Yeah. And it I was done. And the other day, she was taking the piss out of me because I've started saying lad yeah. around the house. Because <laughs> we, we had John May on yeah. and it's just got in my head like, lad, lad. <laughs> so I've, and, and Laura goes around calling people rats now. It's like, she's like, yeah, so if you're not Scouse or if you don't listen to this podcast, rat is an awful yeah, thing hot, to say about someone. To say. <laughs> Laura's, Laura's it using it in conversation with like family, like, ah, oh, she's a rat. And you can tell people be going, oh, Jesus. <laughs> but our whole household has become more Scouse. Yeah. And she's like, it's funny, isn't it? Because when we met, yeah. you were nearly done with Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. And now my whole life is like, I'm li- with these lids yeah. all the so time. I get so desensitized, I think, to like, insults like calling someone a cunt is such a big thing to some people and i'd call me dad that like yeah. no problem do you know what i mean but the thing with that is it's a it's a swear it's a swear word in it and yeah. it's like so you you're fighting all the same you're like that's a bad word and anyone yeah. who goes he's a bit of a see you next tuesday you are a cunt. <laughs> but I had someone go, oh my God, a, a gig went, oh, I'd, some of your language was a bit, I mean, you even used the war against terror. There's some words that... And that was their word for twat. Yeah. War said, against... Yeah. Was like, oh, the war against... Yeah, because I'd said twat, oh, no. that was one of their bad words. So to say twat, they'd started saying the war against terror. 
But when, like, rat's not a swear word, it's just a slam, in it? And, yeah. And to some people, You're that's a rat. like, oh, oh You're that's a rat, you. Right. I'd say that to Carl if he, like, had me last Rolo. You fucking Do you know what I mean? The best thing about Liverpool, oh, yeah, is that we take words that don't mean much and turn them into words that mean a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we fuck off. It's fucking phone. Phone's uh, blowing up. Is, silent, lad. is that Philip Schofield? I can't if it was. <laughs> I've loved you since I was the day I met up and seen you. Just said, hang on. But it's yeah. it, any city with a strong sort of identity. It's the same with Newcastle, isn't it? Yeah. Newcastle's got those. Like if you're from West London and you're and you've never been to Newcastle, they, it's been done on purpose. It's not by accident. That yeah. it's a it's a tribal thing of like we're them. We, this is us. You're them, and we speak like this. And it's the same for like. This is so white person being like, but I remember seeing uh, Doc Brown's bit about like, like gangster talk in London, yeah, and about he was like explaining what everything meant, and then he's like, the fact that I'm explaining this on TV, there will be kids in South London watching it going, fam, like you are out of it. Yeah, there's yeah. new words now, and it's basically like it's like a, if you don't know the update. You're out of the gang. Yeah. So yeah, if you yeah, don't use actually, these yeah. new words, yeah. these new turns of phrase, that shows that you're not one of us. Yeah, so yeah. so people go to Newcastle and go, "What the fuck are these people talking about?" And it's a way of them going, "Ah, we're fucking different." Yeah, I think yeah. it's the same in Liverpool. Totally. Like you oh, have 100%, this, yeah. you have this thing where you can tell even a scouser who'd been away for twenty years came back and didn't know these updates. Like you've well, been away, yeah, 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 you're well, different. Good friend of ours on the the podcast, Alfie Brown. A really good mate of mine. He's writing at the minute uh, uh, a sitcom of sorts uh, about a guy. It's sort of semi-autobiographical about himself, about a guy who really, really, really loves Liverpool and wants to live in there and moves there and ends up living with a scouser who he just, like, he really wants to be mates with. And he sort of, pe- he told you about this, yeah, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah. He sort of pegged me as to play that guy if it ever gets made. Um, and he just wants to be a scouser because that's what Alfie is so <clears throat> ridi- have you met Alfie? yeah 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 very oh, very yeah. well spoken as anyone who watched the Patreon episode that he was on knows very well spoken he sounds like he's fallen out of an English literature <laughs> yeah. exam, like, exam doesn't he like oh but if he could he would be a scouser like if, if you could just wave a magic wand and make him a scouser and he spoke like one and he lived there and he was part of the, he would absolutely do that because his family are from Liverpool and like he was taking me through like uh, some of the, the 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 writing he's done for it, and he's like, so uh, yeah, so I've just got like I'm, I'm making sure I'm getting a lot of the right link, and there's even he's got what you're talking about about like with those South London kids, like you don't know the new iteration of the words, like he he'd written down the word jog <laughs> for like like blag. fake trainees, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's blag now, no, blag. are they fucking blag? And I was like, you can't, you so wouldn't needs, say jargon. So anymore. he needs an update. Of yeah, yeah, he yeah, needs, yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. his, his granddad or yeah. his ma have gone, oh, like in Liverpool, they call fake stuff jarg, jarg, yeah, but, but they haven't black, lived yeah. here for 15, 20 years. Yeah, so. and, and then yeah. like black culture, you don't go around going, bro, bro. <laughs> You're like, bro. Yeah. 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 If you don't, 10 years ago, you wouldn't know that update. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's a it's I mean, a territorial thing yeah, of going. Yeah. This is ours. And you've got to know all of these things. Otherwise you're not part of our tribe. I've yeah, mate, I think Liverpool's amazing and I'm so glad that Hot Water did what it did. Yeah. Otherwise this podcast might not be where exactly, it is. Because yeah, yeah. I would have t- I would have maybe stayed and The Stars Align. The stars Align. Have you got to have a word? Shall we do a have a word? Have we got time? What are we on? Oh we're doing alright, aren't we? Are you we've got to just staff my buttons. It's time to have a word with Adam and Dan. Tell us all the problems you have. Tony can't hear it. This is gonna be the whole podcast. Now it's just the final 10%. What are we doing? What is the question? Who is it from? Let's tell it to Tony. So, uh, this have a word is from Ben. Say, hi, Ange, Dorothy, Callum. Hello, Ben. (laughs) Callum and Norway. Just wondering, who's Norway? Hi, Ange, Dorothy, Callum and Norway. Fucking hell. Maybe like Finland. Norway is Finn. Finland, maybe? So Finland. 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 All right, okay. Yeah. We figured it out. Just wondering if you can have a word with my shithouse brother who goes through my room and steals money and other possessions almost daily. 
He's been told and told and never stops. I've installed, this is, this is bad, I've installed a camera to catch him doing it and have a load of footage to do what I please with. I want to get a gaff closer to work and rent anyway, but pa my parents are saying I should put up with it till I have a deposit saved. Any advice on how to deal with a little rat? Cheers for the live show uh, on Sunday the 20th. It was amazing being in the room and I can't wait for the next one. Get a That's lock from on your Ben. Door. Put a lock on the door. Get a lock. Lock him out. <laughs> we invented them years ago, didn't we? <laughs> Very simple solution. If he can't get into the room, he cannot get the money. I wonder if there's a reason there's not a lock. There must yeah. be a reason. Or is it just it's just going to be like Pikey Palace and his brother's going to smash just the door down? In anyway. Five said, lads doing she coke. She said he's done it more than once. Then yeah, so this is happening all the time. Stealing off his brother. Well, she needs to source. Is it she? Is it? No, it's it's a guy ben. called Ben. Yeah, he needs to fuck a man up a bit, doesn't he? And have a little word with his brother, doesn't he? I think if you were looking for sympathy, Ben, you really emailed the wrong podcast. Yeah, you're not going to get it. Mate. You're talking to three scousers now who are like, shut up. That's your victim. You need to beat him till he cries. Ben, Roll your fanny back up. Ben, don't in your be a victim, neck. mate. Don't be a victim. Next time he does it, stab him. I also think... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Is that how you ended up him. living with your granddad? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's a pretty simple one, isn't it? Have you ever had any trouble with Jack? Robbing money off me? No. No. No, but you... It's too Jack's far, point, that, yeah. isn't it? Of course, he's had so much. Jack's a fucking god. Met Jack, haven't you? He's a fucking god. Jack's an absolute fucking <laughs> Neanderthal. Nah, he's not stealing money off you, though, is he? No, no. no There's a line. Else, no. There is a. That is a. There, like, I'm if not Jack just. Done that I to haven't me. got a brother, but I'm like, that's fucking dodgy. If Jack done that to me, I'd beat the living shit out of him. I had actually bat him. Lad, Jack had to fill you in. I'd use a bat. <laughs> <laughs> I'd use a bat. <laughs> I think you need to ask him, like, it depends how old they are. How old do you think they are? They're young, aren't they? They're living with the mum. The fact that he's... That, there oh, must be a reason there's not him. a lock. There's no, the, there must be a reason there's not a lock. Because he's installed a camera. <laughs> Who goes, <laughs> right, I need uh, some uh, uh, CCTV footage what, rather than a lock. So he can use it as he pleases or something? Yeah. Sounds like in, he's in got a, a blackmail or something, isn't it? Yeah. A bum him. Sounds like he's got a wank using it. Are you all right? <laughs> it's just a really weird way of coming out. <laughs> yeah, I think he needs to go a... Hey, Stop, stop stealing me money. I know you're doing it. I'm just, if you carry just on, just batter him. Do you need a beating, Adam? This is how this plays. You've de Ben's decided he's going to take your advice and he's just going to bang him. What do you do? Wait, come down in the morning. He's having his, his rice krispies. Yeah. Do you go, hey, you seen the film Scum, right? Or do you just out of nowhere <laughs> snooker ball in a right. sock? Wow, or some Get snooker balls in, in the a sock. House. Well, if you've not got snooker balls, what can you use? Table like, tennis balls. Get him in the greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Table tennis balls. Eventually, this will hurt. <laughs> you just buy some snooker balls, don't you? Or golf balls. Or get him in the greenhouse. Mm. Or wrap a chair down his head. Put a lock on the door and say, lad, stop. Stop robbing me money. You don't have to go and buy snooker balls. No, because then he yeah. hasn't learned his lesson. Yeah. No, you, you, but you have to reason. If, he has, if he's never mentioned it to him before, he needs to be like, lad, what are you doing here? If he does no. it again, then, then back him out. No, but I think the shit out of him and then go, lad, that's because you robbed me money. If he's not mentioned it, he needs to say something. I think he has mentioned it and his brother's just basically said, Ben, you're the victim and I'm robbing you money and that's oh, why he's then, doing this. Oh, then buy his snooker balls. If he's doing it... And you beat the shit out of him and then go, that's because you robbed me money and then he'll go, I didn't and go, lie to me one more time, I'm going to let you with the snooker balls again and then he'll go, I didn't rob you money and then you show him the video and then twat him with the snooker balls while he's watching it. Do you think you're harder in your head than you are in real life? Because you do talk the talk with the violence, like, I'd just fucking twat him, break his arm, snap it off. I've got, like, the... I'd rub it in my ass, his broken off got, hand, and then I'd don't have to run the hard. finger up his if own nose. you've got snooker balls in the sock, don't right, do yeah. you? Right, so I've got the fucking answer. Go right. On. Ben, listen, mate. Add me on Instagram or Twitter. That's how you get a following. That's how he sells out a hot war on a Tuesday. Tony Carroll 14 message me privately. And if you want me to, I'll come round and have a word with him. Tony, right. why is the number 14 in your Instagram name? He's born on the 14th. It's his lucky it's number. It's my favourite number. Okay. Cool. What's your favourite colour? Oh, pink. <laughs> I mean, what, red. What, whatever Philip Schofield's <laughs> wearing. It's grey. <laughs> oh, Ben. I can't believe you. No, seriously, Ben. If I'm, I, we're only joking. He if does you, need if... filling in. He needs, he needs no, to be No, 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 whoa. I'm for answering the question. Ben, <laughs> um, 
if you need anything or you want to reach out, add me on Instagram or Twitter and we can talk about this. And if you want me to have a word with your brother who's robbing you, then that's fine with me. Or if you just want to have a chat <laughs> or you want to open up, then... Tony, it's not that real. Like, you're like, come round, we'll sort it out. Oh, no, I feel we bad can now. start a bubble. We can start a support bubble. Yeah, you can open up to me and speak to me and what's going on. Um, I think he needs a punch in the face, doesn't he? Yeah, he needs yeah. twatting. Oh, after all that, you'd agree with me. <laughs> Call me a fucking god. Snooker, <laughs> Snooker ball. Snooker ball in a sock. <laughs> in a sock. Yeah. <laughs> You're literally going to it. Uh, hi, mate. You're going to fucking... Sports Direct. Can I have two snooker balls, please? I we'll actually sell them in a set. I, I don't want all of them. I just need two. No, you just get them all so it doesn't arouse suspicion. Never buy a baseball bat without buying a baseball. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what are you going to do about my love life, by the way? Oh, it's, it's Trump. That's my love life summed up. Um, I think we should, I think you should, to this camera, sell yourself and tell us what you're looking for in a, in a lady. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our esteemed guest yeah, on this week's Mama episode like uh, is obviously the fantastic, the handsome, the beautiful, the successful business mogul, <laughs> Tony Carroll. Business mogul, I like that. And he is looking for love, and he is going to tell you right now, right down this camera, what he's looking for in a woman and what he's got to offer you. And if you want to date him, let him know below, and we will pick the winner, and one of you <laughs> will get to smoke his pipe. <laughs> Fucking boffed. <laughs> I haven't. I saw you do it. Adam. I haven't. I saw and heard you do it. I haven't. Yeah, you, You're a lying bastard. Smell that. Oh. Awful. <laughs> oh, that is fucking rank. Right, okay. Listen, try and get laid quickly because that Hi. is grotesque. Hi, I'm Tony Carroll, age 28 from Liverpool. Um, I'm looking for a nice woman who will share my big character with. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love Philip Schofield, so I hope you do too. Add me on Instagram or whatever. If not, I don't care. What age uh, range are you looking for, Tony? Uh, 22, 23. Are you Two. going down? To what? Yeah. To what? Is that, is that the oldest or the youngest? <laughs> that's the oldest. <laughs> no, that's the youngest. Probably, yeah, younger, maybe youngest, probably be 22, 23. How's, how old's your oldest? Um... Probably fit. I don't want to go. Like, I think the girls my age are quite damaged, so. <laughs> get that out. Get them when they're young. Get, the, get that out of your Tinder bio, son. Get them when they're young and mold them into what you want them to be. Yeah. Oh, Manipulate women into loving you. <laughs> it's called grooming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking for love. So if you like what you see, which obviously you do, I'm big sexy. And uh, see you soon. Well, I'm off for a wank. <laughs> I need a poo. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks for Tony. tuning in. Thanks to Tony yes, Callum coming you guys. in. Extra episode every week on patreon.com slash have a word pod and merch available at have a word pod dot com. Uh, we'll see the Patreons on the Patreon exclusive episode next Wednesday and we'll see the rest of you next Friday. Fuck off. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia.